Welcome, I'm your not so humble game. I'm your not so humble game master, TJ, and this is Dice of Ages presenting Crestfall and Campaign Three. I have a little quiz for you guys, oh, Ooh, and fun. if Usher you can answer my questions correctly, for each one you answer, you get a world inspiration. Whoa. Perfect. Yeah. So this is definitely for us, not the audience. Uh, <laughs> so it's definitely for you guys. Yes, but keep track at home anyway. <laughs> um, so we can have more than one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can have multiple. So, who remembers the name of the silver-haired Valkyrie? Nope. It was said at least once. Mm-hmm. Nope. Is this an open note quiz? <laughs> yes, this is an open <laughs> note quiz. Nope. Nope. On my other set of notes. Noelle knows. This is why she's not allowed to participate. Yeah, I can't I'm participate. Guess. I'm going to say Trish. Nope. I love the Definite Cry reference. Everyone gets one guess. My mm-hmm. notes are effectively just tall lady hot, so. <laughs> you know. I write it down. I don't, I don't do names. <laughs> I don't do names well. I don't write it you don't down. do names? Names is one of the most important things you have to put down. Yeah. Um, Proper names, all that stuff. I have right off the I write down Tim's name. Steel haired hey. lady with the steely eyed look was all I need. All right, so nobody's saying it. So her name was Pernua. Pernua. P E R N U A. Pernua was her name. Are we only doing this because Bass isn't here? And he would know. Um, he's well, he's in the other campaign, so I, that's one of the reasons why I asked that <laughs> question and why Noel can't answer. Uh, this one's for everybody. Ooh. Uh, what. Was the reason that Elias said that he's uh, holding that one island in place with that tether? Uh, it was where he was born. Mm, I might give it to you if, unless somebody else has a better answer. I have a longer answer. Sure. The powers that be change the world very frequently, and he was holding on to that to say fuck you to that particular person. The reason he chose it is because it was his birthday. That's right. He was doing it in protest. Go ahead. World inspiration for you. Hey. All right. Hey. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, last question then, and this is about a character. What... Before Mally's, I'm sorry, before Len's recent transformation, what did he hint to being the cause of his previous state? I know this one. Can I stay a teacher? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't think you care for this no, one. I'm just <laughs> Was it a combat thing? Or like a, like a, Care to be a little bit more specific? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I mean, I for. I might give it to you if nobody, unless somebody I, else has a better, uh, a can I'm trying to think how to phrase specific. it. Um, wasn't it something that was inflicted while he was um, fighting with, did I write down? Bonus points if you can give me proper names or or organization names or something. Oh, I grab a snack. I was thinking mm. it was a fight with his well, mentor or like the person who took him under his wing, but I may be confusing that with Pip. I wrote Red Lion Syndicate way far back. <laughs> That's. Anybody else have an answer? Probably not it. I lost some of my notes. I might give it to you unless somebody else has a, has a more specific answer. Nobody? All right, yeah. Um, he did get it uh, in a bout, uh, which was technically part of work of what he did, um, but I don't think he gave you any more. Remind me, Mal, did you give them any really more? Um, I think you just said I was on a hunt and it was yeah bit by a thing, and uh, uh, like I became, I was supposed to be the predator, but I became the prey. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that's good. You could take a world inspiration as well. All right, that's for three. So we'll, I'm gonna try to. If this catches on, I might do this again uh, a couple more times. So uh, if you remember, you might get some some extra inspirations. What's up? 
Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Today, I learned there's a box for world inspiration. Uh, and you find it so much faster than the, the save? <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> no, you asked me Up that. in the upper left, <laughs> the thing that says inspiration? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't yeah. know if I've actually ever had an inspiration. <laughs> Maeve is very... Duh. Um, Uninspired. Uh, okay. <laughs> kind of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> I'm allowed to say that. I'm allowed to say it as her pilot. You know. So, uh, for all pilot. Into the little Maeve friend. <laughs> With that out of the way, then, uh, our Discord is up. If you guys, uh, uh, it's now fully public, so please go check that out in our link tree. You can check it out on all of our medias. You can go grab our link tree and you can grab the link, the invite link to our link. Anyway, uh, we are done. Uh, with that, let's go right into it. Um, let's start then. Um, last we left off. Um, last we knew of our unfortunate and hasty heroes. They were teleported and transported with the Valkyries to a strange facility. Uh, tested immediately. Uh, Bast was had some negative test results, was thrown in some type of containment for quarantine purposes, and you met the General Greaves. Uh, Pernua, being the captain of the Valkyries, uh, was introduced to you to General Greaves, who is this older gnomish fellow, tinkerer, some sort of uh, inventor of sorts that has this own very immaculate facility. Uh, you talked to him and got kind of got the breaking news update as to what's the the state of the world at the moment, which is pretty much that most of the world is kind of covered with this corruption. There was an apocalyptic event. Uh, General Greaves himself created something called these Fey Gravity Wells, which you encountered when you were first plopped into the future by Elias, as it pulled uh, many of you with Fey lineage towards it, as well as many of the critters that the viscerators, if I don't, if I remember correctly, and, uh, and some of the other creatures as well. After some insightful information, you also learn that the Ehrenbox also have a presence here in Loft, and there's some sort of protocol that involves any intake of elven individuals must be reported and then brought to the Ehrenbach Nation, as it is now called for the purposes of the endangerment of the elven population and there being very, very few people left. This is also, you learn that this is called what is uh, known as a remnant city and the people that uh, were not born during the apocalypse uh, that are still living from when hence it happened and from the before times uh, are called remnants. You then are generously allowed to go into these triostasis or some sort of futuristic type of pods that have some sort of script on them that none of you seem to understand. Uh, and, and in order to, within the, if I remember correctly, the span of one hour, be able to get a long rest in as you are rejuvenated, some sort of rejuvenation chambers. You then exit after your long rest. Yes, what's your question? 10 minutes. Was it 10 minutes? Then mm -hmm. 10 minutes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Do write that mm -hmm. down for me, if Will you can. Do? Yeah, just so I, because that's something I might forget. That's little little, little details Tiny that sometimes whammy. slip my mind. Don't worry, we might quiz you on it later. <laughs> I, I challenge you. If you can, I challenge you now. If you can stump me on something that is, you know, reasonably something that I could possibly know about the world and you guys, I would be happy to give you guys a DM inspiration. So you can challenge me as well at the beginning of a game uh, if you have a challenge. Because Does anybody have a challenge in mind? To do a challenge? I'm sorry? Does it cost us like a D6 or some form of I would say challenge? you would wager one of your world inspirations that you have. Oh, that's Ooh. pretty hefty. I would wager, you wager one of your world inspirations and if you win, you get to keep your world inspiration and you get an additional one. Uh, if you do not have a world inspiration, you may also attempt to do so. You, and then you just have to wager something that I agree with you to be wagered. Does that make sense? Soul. Yeah. Your soul is mine. <laughs> uh, and I won't be Mally's too, <laughs> you know, I don't think you can do that. It has to be something of your own agency. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll be pretty lenient with it too because I want it to be a fun thing. Does anybody have a challenge for me? That on the top of their head? Okay. 
Um, but you have until, uh, however you like, until I'm done with this recap. So uh, after that, you uh, guys request some diamonds and other jewels uh, from this General Greaves, and they e eagerly give them to you. I believe somebody wrote down how much um, uh, whoever was collect. Oh, that might have been Bastion. No, whoever yeah. was keeping control track of inventory. I I may have it on my other set of notes. It's on my computer. It's fine. Um, six hundred yeah. gold gold piece worth of diamonds. So that's hey, yeah. look at that, amazing, good job. I told you I take notes. <laughs> and, and you don't um, believe me. So as far as what you were able to discern with your hotatati nice bringing up, you look at these diamonds and you're just like, oh yeah, that's six hundred gold. Yeah. Gold. Now depending on what's going on with the economy now, it may not be worth that much anymore, which is what the spell depends on, their actual worth in the world. Oh. Mm -hmm. So we, we asked um, yeah, General Greaves about that one. Yes. So General Greaves had given us 600 gold pieces worth of diamonds plus some like other gems as well which is what I don't have the information for, but it was two casts worth, and that was by his re reckoning of the economy. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I was gonna took, ask if somebody did remember that. We only took diamonds. He offered us sapphires and emeralds and rubies, but we're like... Topazes and, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we diamonds. did not take those. Okay. Yeah, um, which is, so, I'm sorry. So, Re, your character Maeve would have looked at this and said, this is way too much. But they are seemingly worthless, so there's a lot more than there was before. Um, so you have like a nice big old satchel full of diamonds that's kind of hefty that is only worth 600 gold. Now, for the purposes of, to make things easy for both of us, because uh, this is an economy 101, uh, as we can remain, the currency that they use up here is no longer gold. But for the purposes of it, you may refer to it as gold because it's just some type of mark or other type of currency that they use to make sure that they still have some sort of economy up here. Uh, as I will be also referring to it in gold as, as some other things. I will be fleshing it out. That's just something that I'll be fleshing out later when I actually pull out the book and start doing some cool things with it as far as what it is actually called. <laughs> this exchange rate, as far as you are aware, will be one gold to whatever it is they have. The economy more down here is, or up, I'm sorry, up here, is more task-based than it is a physical item. Does that make a little bit more sense? Imagine you barter, barter for your free time. Yeah, imagine, a, yeah, imagine an apocalyptic society. It's more about resources than it is actually about money. It really I is mean, a bad future. They've abandoned the gold standard. Right. <laughs> Meaning that <laughs> the things that you have that are resources that you took for granted for creature comforts may very well be worth a lot more up here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And your gold, perhaps not as much. But I don't want to penalize you for that, so just keep that in mind moving forward. Other than that, I believe uh, we ended up with you guys uh, leaving and seeing some sort of like kind of ancient old elven iconography statues and stuff like that. One of the big things you saw was a big wing winged uh, elven statue while Bast uh, was still in his cell, summoned his slime companion and was able to use his slime companion to start melting some of the metal on some of the other parts of his cell. So that's what's going on there. So we're not gonna be focusing on Bast. We don't know what's happening over there. We're gonna be focusing on you guys. So we enter back in with you guys at this kind of seemingly, uh, you know those type of garden plazas where they have like a fountain in the middle and the hedges kind of go around? Imagine that except the hedges are long dead except for one corner of them which seem to be uh, maintained rather well. and. Uh, it's kind of like looking at, um, if anybody plays a particularly famous trading card game that has different types of, uh, of, let's say, landscapes of it, and sometimes they're cut into certain ways, and you can see just by looking in a certain direction, some is like very plateauish, and one's very foresty and 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 woodsish. It kind of looks like this in this, and this isn't the center of the of the city. Uh, it's, it's close, but it does look like when you're looking off to that hedge, the one, the hedge that seems to be healthy, it looks like m things are a little bit more maintained for appearance. 
uh, more flowers, more trees, more woods, those types of things, the rivers clean where the other ones don't seem to be in those kind of cardinal directions as much. Now it's like this, so the quadrants are actually like x, y, like negative x, y, that those types of things. Um, so um, what you do see, uh, just as far as noticeable, um, as far as, I believe, remind me the highest passive perception among you. Not I. I'm a 15. Thirteen. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, by the way, Tin is still accompanying you here. He is your, mm. uh, they hey. are your chaperone here uh, for as long as you wish them to be. Uh, also serving as General Greaves' eyes and ears to make sure that you don't make too much trouble because then he might have to explain. Does that make sense? Um, yep. So uh, you said you had a 15. What you do notice off in this more verdant direction is, uh, I don't want to say a palace, but there is some sort of, it kind of looks like an elevated, you know those uh, those two pillars from the World's Fair that had uh, those two like discs on top that were used in Men in Black as in queens. Uh, saucers? What yeah. are they called? In Queens. In the, Queens, yeah, yeah, in Queens. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, anybody ever watch Men in Black? I mean, yes, it's been quite a while, but yes. But they remember. had these like two big pillars and there's like these discs, these observation towers that are like discs and one's a little taller than the other and they sit right next to each other. And in Men in Black, remember. they use them as spaceships. Uh, they said they were like, oh yeah, no, they hid them in plain sight. Anyway. They're actually alien spaceships. So anyway, it kind of looks like that. There's like this one vaulted pillar with this almost like dish, disc-like thing that kind of becomes a little, it's a little convex up in this direction that appears to have some sort of hanging gardens from it. But it appears to be as far from your perspective, it appears to be kind of empty. But then, for some reason, your gaze tilts up and you see floating a good couple hundred feet, if not more, above this almost like landing pad reception disc bowl is what looks like a floating temple, palace, castle, kind of. Uh, with the bottom of it made entirely of what looks like some sort of lustrous metal that you can't quite. It's an amalgamate of like brass and aluminum, you're not quite sure. Uh, that looks like it may fit into the disc and it just kind of floats up there. How big is that? Like how, are is, we this, is this something like, that only uh, It's quite sees? far away, so to kind of judging the distance, I would say may be difficult from this distance, but I would say it looks comparable in size to some of the more family estate manners that you're familiar with okay. in Sarnla. So, actually, okay. so this is off into like the distance. Kind of, yeah, off okay. into the distance because you also because the loft, what you're sitting on, is a floating city that is three degrees slanted. So even while you're walking here, it feels a little weird. It feels like you're on a mountainside a little bit. Speaking of which, uh, Maeve, go ahead and roll a history check as uh, I suppose Len kind of just I would points point this, it out. Yeah, as I'd points like, this well, out. What's the... <laughs> uh, um. Dirty 20. Dirty 20? Yes. You have seen that exact castle, that manor, before. Um, that looks extremely familiar. I don't know which one it is, though. It's the Ehrenbach estate. Oh, I love that. It is just floating them. up there. Good for them. Huh. I'm so very it is extremely, happy for them. Um, the Ehrenbach estate is markedly larger than the Uriolor estate. But who's counting? Yes. As the Ehrenbachs were notoriously one of the arguably lead houses in the oligarchy of Sarnle. Do I yes. remember something like that? Yes, you would as well. Um, she's a little bit more on the socialite part of it, so I gave her the history check, but you would uh, kind of come to the same conclusion around the same time. Granted, you didn't go outside as much as she did because you were kind yeah. of kept inside. I, I figure I, I like know it's there. That's about it. Yeah, but she's like seen it up close a lot of times. Sorry, go ahead. Would I have seen it? You would have seen it, yeah. Uh, all these things, I believe, would occur to you kind of in like the order of like, bam, bam, bam. Um, you would have seen it in passing. I don't believe you've ever been inside. No. Uh, no. Because who you served with, I believe, was Atrelius, correct? Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, I see you are all enjoying the sights of our city. What is, what is that doing there? Oh, that is the Ehrenbach estate. Uh, the, you would know uh, it as the Ehrenbach uh, nation. Nation, nation. Sorry. Nation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, 
where we're from, it's not floating. That's they've interesting. They've survived all this time. Absolutely. As long as my memory banks have served me well. What other states have survived? There are I assume you want me to intervene here? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, you would know, uh, Tintin Abulation, that uh, there are... The Ehrenbach Nation is, I believe, the only like formal nation that, that insists on being called a nation. Mm. The rest is kind of more of an amalgamation of just survivors from all over. Um, uh, there are very few remnants left, except for the more, uh, more spe- the, the except for the species and races that had more longevity, because it's been right. quite a while since the end of the world of the, the apocalypse. Uh, there, um, as far as uh, as your memory banks would prove to you, actually, you know, go ahead and roll a history check for me. I'm so good at this. Eleven. Eleven. Um, so, uh, you are familiar with the old. Uh, nation uh, of uh, the Razorfang Agreement, which has all but since uh, been, is gone. It's no longer a thing. They used to be mostly uh, an amalgamate of like Dwarven and Gnomish, but you know, a bunch of other stuff. No longer exists. The Dwarves and Gnomes are kind of just smacked above. There's not a lot here. They're one of the um, more endangered races here as well. Uh, The more populous here are the uh, the winged elves uh, who insist on being technically part of the Ehrenbach nation. Um, there's this bit of a tension between the Ehrenbach nation and the winged elves that the winged elves were here in this city before it became a remnant city. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, and so the house Ehrenbach and the winged elves of whatever, uh, who insist uh, on uh, uh, being called uh, the Sorari, uh, S O A R, uh, like Sor, A R Y, the Sorari. Um, they insist on being called the Sor- Sorari, and they are like, no, we were here first, and the Aaron Box are like, yeah, but we're here now. Um, so. Uh, w- Everything else is more of an amalgamation. I will say the things that are easy to note is that the previous guard or like law enforcement of this city uh, was used to be um, a mixture of avian-like uh, humanoids. Everything from um, corvids to owls to eagles that are bipedal and mostly but also have wings. Many of those races are very short-lived so none of those that remain remember a time before. And they only know what they've read and what they've been told. Uh, okay. Other than that, there is, I'm sorry, one more thing that I would say is you just came from um, General Greaves facility, mm-hmm. which is kind of like a disheveled and somewhat, it, it's called the uh, scattered ore. Because it is kind of an ore from the outside, as you can see, like kind of the gyroscopes things, but pieces of it are like broken off and just kind of floating and orbiting in space. Uh, you, the other, only other coalition that you are is really worth mentioning is the one that the Valkyries are a part of. Now, the general works very closely with them, uh, but they're called um, uh, the Redeemers. Uh, as uh, and, and the Valkyrie are the toppest of the top of the Redeemers. And the Redeemers' job is to, pretty much anybody can join the Redeemers. Um, they're kind of like the mercenaries of up here. And their job is to pretty much scavenge the materials and resources of the old world, go into danger's way, grab what they can, come back, and get paid for their services. And that's it. Sorry, go ahead. I believe the Ehrenbach Nation is the only one of which would be recognized by your old ways of doing things. Now we have more just survivors. There are others, though, that have joined the Valkyrie contingency to help people find things along their way. Len, Hmm? if the Arambox survived, do you think that any of our family could still be around? I was wondering about that. Considering our endangerment, probably not, but 
What, a, what about a Uriel or his tin? Anything like that? Checking. Checking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is no information. Go ahead and roll a history check. Eight. Eight. You know nothing about the name Aurelor. No information available. Oh. Hmm. My apologies. Again, this is something that General Greaves needs to work on. I remember to remind him of that. He might not take it too kindly, but it'll be yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that was a joke, you know. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when did you get a sense of humor? Excuse me. <laughs> that was the right answer. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I just, I just hadn't noticed. It's just a little less gallows nowadays. Mm. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's fair. That's true. Ignoring that. Why don't we go see if we can check in with these errand box? Maybe there's something we could learn from them. Do you need to photosynthesize? I know that was one of the reasons why we came to these gardens. Yeah, that would be nice. Yes, and I believe if I was going to look for some cocoons as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I also want to ask them how, or figure out how they managed to survive and why. Maybe they know more themselves about, you know. Well, I'm just curious. How does one get from here to there? I... Yeah, can everyone just like sprout wings and fly the same way those Valkyries did or? <laughs> now you're telling another joke. No, no, I mean it. Oh, no, that is oh. not the same. There are certain protocols in place for getting up to the Ehrenbach. Nation. You keep saying nation, but that just looks like a big house. Uh, Len, when you actually do notice what looks like two individuals in different moments of progress, uh, fully flying with wings towards the Aaron Bach Nation. The Aaron Bach like State. wings, wings, like feathers. Actual bird wings. Damn it. Like bird slash angel wings. Um, from this distance, it's hard to tell what they are. They're very far off. Okay. Hmm? Again, it depends on the protocol. I kind of want to look at the statue a little more. I the city just seems this 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 place seems familiar. I want to see if there's a plaque, any writing, if I can determine roughly how like how old this area is because actually would we have encountered winged Elves. Roll a history check. Because that's. Elves don't have wings. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a, a 25. Oh, so. <laughs> got a negative one intelligence, man. I got to roll play that. <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you, I'm sorry, what'd you roll? Oh, 25. 25? Oh, tw is that a natural Smart, 20? Man. No, it's a 19, 19? plus 6. Made um, as a history buff. It doesn't come up much. <laughs> you don't do know of old myths and stories about ancient elves that did have wings. However, most if not all of people in general dismissed them as fables, myths, okay. like old stories of fantastical, like when we look back and, and see people talk about certain things in old, old, old times, they were just like, oh, their imagination got the better of them and they yada, 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 yada and it just kind of okay. telephoned over time. Got it, so. I will say with the 25, you get a little bit more information about those myths. Uh, they, ha they are said to have um, had some sort of disagreement with the ancient empire and left uh, the ancient empire. Uh, and as you know, you would know this as well, uh, which is called the Selendian Empire, if I did not mention it before. Um, so with, uh, who, whose primarch or whose emperor was Emperor Selendus. Uh, L, uh, Emperor Selendus, S E, ooh, let me double check. Uh, I think it's. Uh, yes, S E L E N. I 
believe D-U-S, Salendis. Oh, I'm sorry, D-I-S. S-E-L-E-N-D-I-S, Salendis. Um, so the Emperor Salendis was the emperor of the ancient elven empire that you've heard of that fought, that caused the Razor Fang Agreement to come about, to stop them at the uh, Razor Fang Mountains, where the dwarves and the gnomes were together. So you know about, you've never heard the term Sorari, but these winged elves had some sort of disagreement with the, with the empire and then left, like almost uh, like deserted the war effort. And through some way, whether it be pure will or magic or something, sprouted wings and went off into the heavens to live out their peaceful lives. All right. Um, I go over to Toledo and I tell him, so winged elves. Yes. They only exist in myths and stories. And in the plaza, allegedly. Well, at least with statues go. See. Well, not anymore. I just offhandedly dismiss the statue as being a creative rendition of the ancient winged elves of fable. And correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a few just people with wings out there. And these are different than the ones who saved us. Yeah, I see them right over there. Yes. Yes. What do you, what do you make of this? Well, we're in the future, but there are literally myths and stories of the past here. Yes. That, I'm yeah. so sorry. You um, got that 25, too? You wanted to know how old this was? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, this looks ancient, 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 okay. ancient, ancient. Way before where you were from, also. It makes sense for that to actually align with a time during the, the ancient empire. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah. So, so everything here is very, very old. Is that what you're getting at? I, Even though we're yes. in the future. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So, do you think the elves with the wings, or whatever it is with the wings, do you think they're old or new? I, I don't know what to make of it. I think that. I think they're old. Come back from. Myth. Myths? Yes. Do you think yes. you could get wings then, too? You had wings once. Did I? Yeah. Oh. That was pretty cool. I remember that. Maybe they've been hiding oh. away all this time. Oh, no. I mean, maybe, but... That hurt. So... You, saw, you said you saw them flying around whatever. The... I've seen it before. I don't know what it is. The flying city... House thing? The Ehrenbach Nation, apparently. Ehrenbach mm -hmm. Nation. Oh, this is the, is the Ehrenbach Nation. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's where the elves are apparently nation? kept. Weird it is not kept. They choose to go there on their own volition. And, and laws, as well. The laws would be the kept part. You Did say of their own volition, you haven't thus far given us much of a choice. Forgive me, I am just following the protocols of which I have been programmed with. However, many of your kind do choose to want to be with their own kind. Well, yes. That does sound like us. <laughs> Speaking of, now that you've seen that there are ones with wings, and you can see the estate, are you more interested? Um. Remember, we are doing this for a purpose. Well. Yeah, can we get some of those wings? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, we well, just set up the wing store. I wonder what they taste like. You know where that is? I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> no one can tell. There may be a way to get some of the artificial wings, but I am unsure of how to grow wings like the Sorari. Mm. I, I, either way, uh, 
I think I can say we're already pretty interested in checking out the Aaron box. Um, yeah. So would you like me to file the processing a little faster then, since you are already going into the place of, of your designation? Well, first there was the photosynthesis, and that takes some time, doesn't it, Len? Yeah. I was going to ask as well, though. Didn't you want to poke around, maybe do some shopping if you can? Oh, yes, we could definitely use some of those incredible healing vials. Mm. Does Bast have all of the gold weapons? <laughs> Or I can it, it, roughly it make it easily to say that uh, during the haste of kind of grabbing him and tossing him to the thing, none of his like stuff was with them except for his most personal things that he keeps attached to himself, like his weapon, mm -hmm. and his dagger, and his his uh, other like components for spells and stuff like that. But as far as his bag that he carries with him, you guys have that. We should go see if we can find someone who will melt these giant gold weapons down into coins. Sure, we can look around. Because I'm Fair. tired of carrying these around. Would you like my assistance with navigating the various merchants? Please. Yes, please. Very well. How much, how much more time do you require for further synthesis? Not here. I forgot. How long. Um, um... If you have it, because I don't have it up, but I'll look. I'll see if I can find it as well. I would but hate to cut you off. <laughs> if you remember, like the sky is scorched, uh, like Matrix style. So, but you are above the scorching of that, meaning that you you are above like the first iteration of clouds. You're like a cloud city. Uh, you are like when uh, the plane goes above the cloud line. That's where you are. The air is very thin up here. Okay. Um, so, as far as the interference from the sun, you have the sun. I figure, yeah, as long as I'm just walking around, I'm doing it fine. Um, right. I gave you... Let me double check. Is it the same as... There we go. Uh, you need to photosynthesize. Come on, show up. It's a short rest, right? Like, um, I think it's something like that. I remember it being four hours. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have is access it, to it right now, so I believe it's. Is it the same as the Arben? Uh, yes. So you need to take root at least for an hour, not oh, just I photosynthesize. I thought I couldn't find it, but I have it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Should My be friend Benny is very Either somewhere between <laughs> one that. and six hours or one and eight hours <clears throat> or something like that. I think yeah. you need like at least an hour of sunlight or something. You need to take root. Uh, we'll get back to you once yeah, you find I it. To, yeah, we, look and we'll get back to you. What's up? Oh. Yeah, I. Against my better judgment, we perhaps should check with the Aaron box. There is a chance that Masha, Masha? Lady Masha Ehrenbach. Lady Masha Ehrenbach owes me a favor. However, unless things have changed, she is fickle. Who knows, maybe her heart is softened after all these years. Have you ever met her? Is that another joke? Yeah. <laughs> Am I doing something wrong? Or? <laughs> Does everybody have like wicked tans up here? Sunscreen in <laughs> I mean, if you're that high, the sun is very intense. After a couple generations of being born up here, um, be there are the adaptations. Um, you do see, um, granted, uh, just imagine like an 80s ski movie where everyone is like. There, there are quite a few people up here that do wear garbs that cover their entire mm -hmm. body, whether it be armor not or sure, apocalypse kind of gathered things. But yeah, you guys are like not the only ones here. Like there's still people moving about. Um, you get a couple weird looks from people because you're not wearing. Uh, uh, I, I, I think all of the non-elven uh, people get a couple weird looks because you're not wearing some type of. Actually, no, I wouldn't say that because some of you are wearing. Well, actually, except for you, Talio, you're wearing, you're not wearing 
armor. You look a little bit more nice, right? Or did we say your stuff got pretty messed up? My stuff's pretty messed up. Okay, cool. Uh, but Nick, are you still wearing? I mended like, it. Oh, yeah. Is, is it, it the yeah, livery tins. or finery that you were wearing? Tin mended it. Mended it. Yes. yes. Oh, mended it. It was like a kind of like a leather underneath. Sorry. And then finery, but not right. like like. I think hand, you get a little bit weird looks style. because you see everybody else has like very well worn, like fully functional, practical armor and stuff that they've scavenged together, like raider stuff that they've scavenged together, a lot of them. Uh, I think the, the the elven individuals among you, uh, at least those with elven lineage, do not, uh, because that's kind of expected. So I'm with they're supposed crowd. to be a little cleaner. Perfect. Um, also, what I have is I, need, I just need direct sunlight for four hours per day. Okay, cool, Before yeah, you, you'll get that as long as you're outside. <laughs> while you're <laughs> 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 I have a pretty big uh, either or right there. <laughs> or what? Yeah. Or you what? Or I like have to like Eat. drink somewhat. It's like a yeah, yeah. Tree. right. Tree. Mm. Mm. Um, so yes, you. Uh, as long as you're outside, you will get that. Every place we go to, I'll just wait outside, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granted, um, as per Elven architecture, many things are kind of like open outdoor floor pan kind of style. Um, as very it is as far as the same type of architecture from the high part of Sarn Lo as it was, mm -hmm. because that was the more kind of like foresty, well, you know, like city that was more sprawling with less roofs, except for when you're inside some of the estates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna go look for a cocoon just for a little bit, probably like 10 minutes, while you guys kind of figure out your elf situation. Okay. Okay. Very well. So You're gonna do what? I'm looking for a cocoon. You're looking for a cocoon? Yes. Oh, in like an gardens. actual like chrysalis, like a like yeah. a, a like my, a, a moth cocoon for my or polymorph spell, yeah. Okay. And then um, the foliage. I could I could probably help you find that. Please. If, if, if they would even be here, I, I could Uh around. the the only place the I say the best chance you have if you're just looking around would probably be some of the, one of the, the foliage that's still maintained that's near this area. That's so uh, if you guys want to roll a nature check, perhaps? Nature. To try to type to try to discern what's the best place to look. I've got an 11. That is a 18. 18. Um, yeah. Uh, you uh, are realize that you probably need to go just a little bit farther because they wouldn't be in hedges, they'd be in something that they could consume uh, immediately after. So you're able to take that. Uh, uh, that will give you advantage on your investigation check to try to find one. Ooh. All right. So, yeah. so there we go. Where do you think? You're the hunt. You're the you walk like another 100 right? feet to some like milkweed. That's a little bit more. I'm just follow you. It's like a, when like a dog is like sniffing and they like walk in like 900 different Alex. directions before it's settling. Yeah, I, I bring on like one of those. I'm gonna like probably run here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let me check around here then. Yeah, and you're like actually feeling the pheromones. And mm -hmm. you want me to roll an investigation? At advantage. At advantage. Perfect. Well, that's good because that's a six and that's a three. Oh, perfect. No. And that is eleven total. Eleven? Yeah. Um, you do find one, but you are crawling through the foliage for a good, like, half an hour before you find one. Ugh. I've got one. It took a lot to find it. But got, like, a got vine one. in your hair. and Oh, perfect. You've got camouflage as well. You've got a, a little <laughs> leaf in your tail. Please, please, could you get it out for me? Oh, it's, it's stuck. Oh, this fur is matted. <laughs> a grasshopper just flies out one of their ears. Oh my god. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, isn't it though? It is. Don't you have prestidigitation? So, Oscar, what are you doing while they're off? searching for yeah, the okay. cocoon? I don't think it would be. Um, We're going to melt that enough. gold, aren't you? Yeah, I don't want to go off on my own and do that. I'll go with. <laughs> they're, they're probably like a little preoccupied. Speaking with the time of which. You get a couple wide-eyed looks yeah. uh, around here, um, uh, given your garment. Feels like a, like a boot who's getting thanks for their service, and they're like, I literally just showed up. <laughs> I think the mic's picking you up. Can you oh, catch yeah. Up um, yeah, so I guess I guess we can go off and, and do that. Yeah, look for somewhere that'll melt mm -hmm. all that stuff. 
Yeah. Well, could we perhaps wait for them? I'd like to keep the group together, especially while we are waiting for processing. Hmm. We can certainly discuss, though, some of your various options. I'm sure. more than happy yeah, to kind where, of be uh, Whereabouts might, might do that. You had mentioned you guys wanted to go shopping. There are yeah. places among here. Um, mostly... The there are residences. Uh, it's a lot of the stuff that was a little bit more nicer here has been converted to house a lot of other people. There's like the one quadrant that's kind of like the Ehrenbach Nation is kind of its own thing, and everything else is just kind of a free for all. Uh, there are residences, there are shops, there's shanty things, it's kind of the same kind of amalgamation that you remember from the Shalian Cradle, where things were built off of ancient ruins. Except these aren't ruins; they're pretty well maintained, but they have been expanded and uh, had annexes added and things. So this is so why we have zoning laws. <laughs> <laughs> Osfer, wanted to go shopping? I'd like to melt... Is there anything that you're looking for in particular? I'd like to melt down the gold weapons we've been S lugging around. So, a foundry, a forge. Yeah. Okay. Um, and maybe buy a new sword. If, if I may... Weapons might be more. Yeah, sorry. Weapons themselves might be more valuable than melted down into coin. Mm. Potentially, sense. I have not seen these particular weapons that you speak of. However, just thinking of the systems that are in place now may be very different than what you have in, experienced in your past. Well, they're solid gold, so they're not much use in combat. It's a pretty soft metal. It uh, doesn't really hold an edge. Still don't know why the fate bother with gold weapons, but they're ours now. That that is very illogical. Very well. Maybe we can find somebody that can melt them down and turn them into something more practical. Wait. The Fae used the gold weapons. Mm -hmm. We got them when we uh, yes, fought them off yes. the siege. Yes. Ten. Yes. Has anyone ever tried gold? Like using gold weapons on the, the ichor. Processing, processing. <laughs> you look at me. Um, <laughs> history? I don't, um, I'm trying to think of it myself. Yeah, go ahead and roll history. 14. There are extensive records in your uh, memory banks uh, but I would say there are extensive records in your memory banks about a bunch of attempts and experimentations. Uh, there was a time in which there was a one of the Icar abominations, not the viscerators, but one of the actual kind of like mm -hmm. venom symbiote type of things that was captured um, and kept... I'll say prisoner for like experimentation within General Greaves facility. It didn't end well. It escaped and since then there has been a law or you know a rule input where they can no longer take specimens like that up here because it's too risky. Uh, there were a bunch of tests upon them. Gold's on the list. Didn't really seem to have any type of reaction everything. Uh, hundreds of different types of metals and alloys were tested. Uh, however, uh, you do have something on you, apart from you, you do have something on you that you know affects Fae mm. very heavily. Gold is something that they wielded because they just found it shiny and precious, and they said, like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, why not mix style with pra pragmatic pragmatism, but they would always fall on the side of fashion, and they would pragmatism. According to Experiment 747, gold had no effect on such Icarus creatures. Any luck with the infected? Negative. Mm. Well, it was worth asking. So that was just because they're stylish. Although I can't say that. I don't know, you could, you could do better than gold. <laughs> I think of gold as a bit better of an accent. Personally. Yes, exactly, exactly. Silver, silver, that is 
That is a showy weapon right there. You guys are discussing fashion while uh, Talio is just ankle or like neck deep in a bunch of foliage looking for a cocoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Osfer, uh, go ahead and roll perception check for me. Does it involve? It involves sight. Wolf scent. Dang it. <laughs> Uh, 19. 19. 19, very good. Uh, you do see someone as you're just kind of like perusing the horizon uh, that appears to be kneeling um, just in, you're not sure if it's quiet meditation or prayer, you don't know, uh, kneeling before, a bit ways off, a couple hundred feet off, that you can just kind of see through the crowd as you're just uh, perusing the landscape that appears to be kneeling, kneeling at a, a type of totem that you're familiar with. Uh, and this totem appears to be made of an amalgamation of like wood and stone, uh, but not like a hard stone, like from a quarry, but more of a, a softer like clay stone uh, that has the same type of hue of the kind of reddish brickish brown that you're familiar with uh, from the Wa'ana'ote temple. Uh, the totem also harkens some sort of familiarity as well. Okay. What does this person look like who's doing this? Um, they, uh, the, they're quite far off and they have their back to you, so it, it's di a little bit difficult to, to tell from this distance. Okay, are they wearing like armor or robes or? Um, they jacket? look to be wearing what looks like some drab linens, like peasant garb. Okay. Osfer, you've been staring over there for a while. What's going on? Hmm. I don't rightly know. Is it that person? Do you know them? We'll go find out. Sounds good. I'll come with you. I mean, yeah. it's either that or, you know, Chill in the sun with this guy, or uh... yes, I am not getting filthy. Day's not over. Let's go. I am going to be equidistant from all of you. <laughs> and I just kind of move along and then like, <laughs> like just triangulate. Yep. All right. Okay. Which person is it? That one. The kneeling one. Mm -hmm. You, for, you you go to yourself. I ain't. You can do this. <laughs> so if possible, I don't know the geometry of this place. I'd like to not directly approach behind them, but kind of like around to the side, maybe try to get a look. There is before. a, um, there is a, the, the thoroughfare, I would mm -hmm. say, it kind of runs perpendicular to the direction that they are facing uh, if you head that direction as if it was just kind of walking down that walkway and you took a left and they were just praying to a totem that's kind of just off the thoroughfare to the left in a little alcove not covered but open does it look like they placed that totem there or is that part of the alcove it looks like it was placed there, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like it was placed there recently as whatever type of clay uh -huh. or stone or mud that attaches it to the ground uh, looks dried and like it's been there for quite a while. Okay, so um, this, this guy didn't just like set yeah, it. It doesn't there. really fit with the rest of the iconography here, so it's something probably afterward, after the before time. Mm -hmm. After the before time. The before time. <laughs> before the after time. <laughs> before the after time. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, so I uh, walk up there. Uh, yeah, you walk up. Uh, they just continue, just kind of be have their eyes closed and just kind of just holding their hands like this to the totem. Now that I'm much closer, what do they look like? Uh, this looks to be an ibkest, uh, some sort of like devil folk. Uh, both of their horns look snapped off, not filed, but snapped off as if you took a tree branch and you snapped it from the wind. How uh, close to the base? Just curious. 
Um, one uh, much closer to the tip, one much closer to the base, okay. to the point where it probably snapped way too close, and it has since scarred and scabbed over, and then the scab is left, and then becomes scar. Um, uh, so there's a bit of a recess that kind of goes in where the flesh has like tried to cover it up, kind of like when you get your wisdom teeth removed and it tries to cover that the hole up. Uh, they Gross. are, <laughs> they are of kind of a pale pink complexion, uh, so they kind of blend in with a lot of the, uh, with with the kind of alabaster stone that is around them. What is the totem look like i guess now that i'm much closer uh the totem is of something you're familiar with not necessarily like this totem exactly Mm -hmm. but uh, some sort of representation it's a little wrong i would say actually you know go ahead and roll a history check for me i would say you can do this at advantage because this is your valley wick good because that was garbage that was the same roll twice that is a three a th- three total? Yes. Jesus. Oh, no. Four minus one is three. I would say, you're not sure why, just something feels a little out of sorts with this, mm-hmm. but what you are able to at least try to rec- recognize is it doesn't look particularly well made, but it does look like there was effort and time put into it, but just maybe by someone who's not the best at doing this Mm -hmm. because they worked with what they had and they're not one that usually makes this or who knows. Uh, But it does look like they tried to make some sort of representations of some creatures maybe, maybe some things associated with elements. You don't know. It's like, it's really hard to tell. It's trying to give meaning to some children's sketch. Go ahead. Might I know? You're Are you with him? Oh yeah, he wanted someone to come with him. Well, uh, he doesn't have it. to be rooted when oh, he gets. It. He just yeah. needs to be exposed to sunlight. Oh, yep. okay. For four. Sorry. Mm-hmm. He can be rooted. Uh, um, Misunderstand there. Uh, yeah, there's a difference thing. Uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I would say. Ooh, that's a very good question. Awesome. I'm I would give you. A, guide to I would give you a history check, but it's not an advantage. All right. Not, not fine. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh my. Is that primordial shit? This Solar. looks like a poor attempt at trying to recreate some primor- some like primeval totem, like some uh, like elemental uh, of uh, like uh, not not a tribute to the old gods, but tribute to the old elements, like sh- more shamanistic. Uh, the the creatures that would embody the personifications of these types of forces. There are more than four, um, but it looks like there are some creatures that they thought would be necessary that are kind of added to. It's only like six tall. It's only about as tall as you are. Are they kind of obvious? Like, do I see like fire, air, water, like that kind of, or is it a little more like hard to tell? They're obvious to you, perhaps not to Osfer, given his (laughs) role, Um, but... they tried, is the best I can say, oh. I believe, there. Um, they tried to make it look like it was. And granted, this is a totem, so it only means as much to the person who created it as yeah. the people who... Uh, I would say, for somebody who's not familiar with it, it would not be obvious. Okay. Hmm. Only just because of the quality of what it, of its construction. Is there anything written, maybe along the base, or just anywhere? Are you attempting to like get super close to it and like start touching it and moving around it? Um, not like super close, but uh, so as close I'm as saying one like, can. are you going to pop the bubble of this person meditating in front of this thing? Ah, I didn't know if they were like that close. Uh, uh, they are no more than two feet from this thing. Maybe like any, probably like a foot and a half from this thing, kneeling before it, just kind mm-hmm. of like holding their hands together and just kind of having their eyes closed, just either meditating or thinking with intent. Okay. I mean, there is room to walk around the back of it, but it's also, I mean, it's up to you. Mm. You ever see someone praying at a shrine? And think I probably shouldn't walk behind that thing while, like, right behind that thing while they're while they're doing that. It's more of that. It's it's up to you though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably wouldn't do that. Um... There's not a whole lot of room between 
the totem itself and like the back half wall of alabaster kind of stone that is in this little side bit. I kind of like a pull off from a road. I'm going to sit down next to them. Okay. And speak softly in primordial. It has been a long time since I have seen reverence such as this. I think you notice them stop breathing for a moment. And then they just kind of like, they move their eyebrows a little bit. And they just say, I'm not sure what, uh, it is as you are saying, but, uh, perhaps, no, it would be foolish to think so. I am. I apologize. And they begin to stand up. Speak plainly. You say that in... Uh, Whatever they spoke in. They spoke in common. Okay, then back in common. Uh, Oh, uh... I... They kind of turn around as they were starting to leave. I, I wouldn't want to disturb your... Uh, look, I don't know what it is that you are saying, but for some reason, what it is that you speak seems to make me feel strange. Uh, I'm sorry, I know many of us are gathered together in places that we don't know. As I just... Uh, I don't know what else to say. What brought you here to this purpose? Well, in times of need and desperation, like many of us are nowadays, we'll look to almost anything for help, whether that be gods, deities, people of power, families, houses, or... Knowledge? Sure, yeah, possibly. Osfer, the polite thing to do is start with introductions. Are you there? I thought you were Yes, no, them. I was. No, I, was, oh, okay. I followed too. I'll just like, shh. <laughs> I'm trying to go. I know, but shh. <laughs> oh, this is one of those moments. Got it. Apologies. I did not mean to offend um, uh, a, a member of the nation, uh, the Ehrenbach nation. Uh, no offense given or taken, friend. Please, sit with me a while. I, with all due respect, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know you, and uh, it's not really for you to give me forgiveness. It's for them, um, so, um, and I don't want any trouble, so I'll just. There is no trouble here. Roll a persuasion check. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> like, oh my god. Ugh. That was a journey. Uh, not great. Uh, six. You're in it now. Oh, gotcha. You're in it. Don't check it I'm out. sorry. Uh, I, I must be on my way. And they turn pretty quickly and try to cover their face with linens and try to melt into the crowd. Um. I walk back over to Lynn. Oh, are you just... Len was, like, a couple feet from you, I yeah. believe. Well, yeah. sorry, then Talia. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? What just happened? Oh, I know. Sorry, Oh. Osford just happened. Osford, did you even get a name? Osford, did you even get a name? I did not. Oh. You scared him away. I did no such thing. I was simply trying to tell you the polite way to initiate a conversation with someone 
with whom you're trying to ingratiate yourself with. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. Following you. Do be advised that your word does carry more weight now than it seems it did back in the old days. I'll go sit back down. Oh. Especially as a protected species. So, you have found your cocoon. Uh, you guys are all gathered a little bit closer to the winged statue that you were at before. What would you like to do? Uh, hold for a sec, Osfer. Um, I've been kind of preoccupied with the situation. What, what was that What was that all about? I thought you were looking for a what melting your gold or something. Well, Greaves told us that all of the monks Every order is gone. And a last stand to save all of this. That's right. And I hoped against hope that maybe a remnant of a remnant was still here seeking after the primordial and guarding our knowledge. I guess that's not the case. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, rest assured, I figure we'll be able to return to our time and you'll be able to continue uh, per normal as before. As for just Cox and eyebrow. D did I say something wrong? <sighs> I think no. he's looking for something else. And did you I'm see just some? Taleo, I think they're having another one of those moments. Can I see that cocoon you found? I'm just not so sure it's going to be that easy to get back. I think we're going to be here for quite a while. We'll see. Don't do that again. We'll see. I mean, there's Ast and Pip and Heck, we don't even know how to get back. I barely even know how we got here. I have an idea how we get back. There's this big siren Gee, that appears to be, that's for. Um, appear to be uh, not necessarily like, but like some sort of mechanical, magical kind of siren that appears to be echoing throughout the entire city. Uh, and... Uh, you see a bunch of people uh, kind of look up for a moment and kind of gaze at the sty and then start to, not necessarily panicking, but moving very, very quickly with a lot of purpose, just not here. Uh, just Continuous anywhere but here. Uh, you see a lot of people moving extremely, extremely, extremely quickly. Yeah, I um, don't know what time. Tintin, but... you know what that means. That means yeah. uh, incoming uh, orbital debris. Um, Everybody. Take cover now. We need to go and seek shelter so that we do not get hit by Either way. Air debris. Yes, of course. This Following way. Please you. please stay close. Uh, the closest, I mean, you were uh, already exploring for a little bit, so you were not too, you were not too far from the facility. I was equidistant from, yeah. yeah. No, no, I, I don't mean yeah. that. I mean the party in general. Yeah. Um, I would say the probably closest place to seek shelter, um, a lot of this happens, you guys go underground into the, uh, the depths of the floating island slash city of what it is. The closest entry point is near a uh, uh, one of the Redeemer buildings that's nearby. Uh, one of the Redeemer, uh, and it's kind of like a, a like those cellar doors slash manhole things that get thrown open. That's the one that you see the closest to you. Everybody in here, quickly. Um, it starts to go, uh, you see people start to, uh, every second that goes by, people start to panic a little bit more and they start to get even more uncouth and just absolutely a bit. Like, I'm walking, I'm walking, get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, yeah. Um, as you start to see that the sky itself begins to fill with uh, hues uh, of red and blue uh, as you're not sure why. But like, as far as you can tell, coming from this one center, and you you don't can't quite see anything, but there's some ambient lighting that's behind just a very 
very bit of like high cirrus clouds that begins, begins to light the city with red and blue. Uh, and as soon as that happens, people start to go full panic. The ones that are still not underground start to grab other people, pin them down, and try to f throw themselves on top of them. Uh, like, throw them on top of them to, like, protect them with anything. Uh, you see some rather more unfortunate individuals uh, start to dive into the more verdant areas of the, the city and just dig and dig and dig and dig. Please um, go inside. We need, to, we need to help them. Uh, right. Very well. Stay still near shelter, and we can take care of this. I go into salvo mode. You go into salvo mode? Yeah. Uh, you see as uh, tintinabulation changes and forms as their like chest comes out, and their head kind of goes down, Optimus Prime style, into their body, and these uh, big, uh, they're called, what is the, the like support legs that come out? Uh, come down and grab and crack into the alabaster stone as they dig in and, and loft the body of it up, uh, kind of becoming a bit of a, a mobile, uh, a, a stationary artillery unit. Uh, as you see, uh, there is this kind of like large cannon that just uh, awaits this barrel that seems to come out of them as well. It is lofted, I would say, like above a good two and a half feet above the ground. Okay, Maeve, who up to this point has literally just thought that Tintin was a person in a suit, is absolutely horrified at this. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, this is emergency protocol to save save your asses. <laughs> you start to hear things clinking off of your chassis of this metal that sound like little pieces of stone or metal. Um, Please put on these monocles. Kind of like, uh, like micrometeors. Is Tinnabla to play, like, skeet with this I'm, orbital yeah, debris? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, can I, everybody roll dexterity saving throws for me? Yeah. Also, I was going to say, when I see um, when I see them doing that, I want to immediately cast long strider on them. Okay, so they can move faster? Nope. Great, no, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I would say that uh, okay, on who? Better. Everybody? Tin. Tin? Um, you got it. Uh, that doesn't really do anything for you because your speed is zero when you're in this form. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. Also, uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Nat 20. <laughs> Nat 20, nice. 16. 16? Uh, 20, everybody. 23. 20. Again, everybody. 23. Everybody did really, really good. Add plus four if you're within 10 feet uh, of me. Paladin. Yeah. Yo, oh, 20. Yeah, so add four to that. 20. 20. Yeah. yeah. 27 then. 27. Everybody did amazingly well. Oscar, you did the, the least well. I, I, I think. At 20. 20? Yeah, it's yeah, still amazing. Dex, um, dex save, you said, though? Dex save. 13. Um, you automatically dex fail. You're, you're, That's fine. Yeah, yeah, so it's fine. Um, but you also have uh, a certain chassis that's able yeah. to deal with this kind yeah. of stuff, so whatever it damages you take will at the very least be halved. Um, uh, so, it, it's like you have an evasion for this type of thing. Uh, so, you guys... I have a question for you. You said you wanted to help the people that are here. Yeah. You guys, uh, all you guys, almost I believe all got twenty or above then, correct? Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to, you can grab somebody with you and try to pull them under Tintin. It'll be crowded. Uh, there is the chance that it could push out one of your companions, but that's up to you to take. I'll try and grab two people. You want to grab two people? Yes. Um, what did you get for your? A uh, total of like 27. 27? Yeah, you can grab two people if you want. Um, you start to move, grab one of the people that start starting to dig into the soil is, near the hedges is there and like a, tackle some other person. What's up? You said that there was like a bulkhead that people were going into. Is that like... There is not like a bulkhead. Um, there are just... People are kind of like scattering and going to... Uh, you were talking about like one of the door slash mm -hmm. manholes that was down there. That's the closest place. Um, yeah, but, how far away is that? Uh, that is a good about a hundred feet away. Uh, okay. Easy, I got that. <laughs> of course you do. You want to run to that? No, I want to grab somebody and bring them with me to that. To that? Yeah. Okay. Um, the closest person to you is if, of medium size, not small size. So if you grab them, mm -hmm. you will be moving at half speed. Step of the wind. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, why don't you go ahead? So what would that make your movement speed if it was halved and you use Step of the Wind for your dash? I don't remember. Um, uh, Step of the Wind just adds, an, adds just dash. lets you dash. as you, so, so you could move three times. Yeah, so that would be 40, 80, 120. Halved. Halved down to 60. 60. So you're not going to make it all the yeah, way. So it'd be two rounds to do. But you still got a 20. Yeah. Um, so what I will let you do is that there is a bunch of micrometeors coming in that uh, that is, could possibly damage you guys. Um, you will, you can, if you want to, mm -hmm. impose your body in between them and the sky yeah. to take, uh, well, you have evasion now, right? So yeah. you <laughs> will take no damage yes. because you succeeded and <laughs> as you dodge with their body as they're frantically trying to uh, they are trying to like fight against you because they have no fucking idea why you're doing this um, shut up and let me save you uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they shut up and oh let them call. save you and let you save them because they rolled absolutely trash um, you wanted to grab two people yes. same thing you're moving at half speed you won't there's no way you could make it to the underground thing but you can make it to under there if you want to that dive that was the plan yes yeah absolutely with 27 you can dive with those two people boom you're running uh, past Tintin towards yeah. the thing. You got yeah, it. It was going to be crowded. Hold on. Not take up the yeah. place. You have healing magic too, yes? You don't have time to have this conversation. We yeah. need to broadcast it. I was going to say. To me, you have healing magic. To me, we have healing magic. I just yell it. As okay, that's fine. Possible. I was going to say as well, I'll, I'll like dart out, try to grab two people just under my arms if I can, and then run back. Um. Yeah. What's your strength? 16. Okay. Yeah, you're. Yeah, sure. Um. You want to grab two people and dive under this thing as well? What was your what was your deck save? Not twenty. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's the deal. Uh, Re and Len just go into full. I'm sorry, Maeve and Len. Jesus Christ. Uh, Maeve and Len go into full. Um, uh, nope, nope mode and just grab two people each and dive under Tintinabulation. At this point, because you guys rolled the highest out of everybody, uh, it's full under there. Like, there's no more room for anybody else. Mm -hmm. You are able to grab them, and, for the, and you hear, ting, 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 ting. Um, Talia, what are you doing? I'm looking for people that are going to get struck and die. I'm not near. There Tintin. are a good three people still around you trying to do their best to, uh, one appears to, like, pull one of these large uh, cobblestones out from its mooring to try to hold it up on their body. Another one is um, just rocking back and forth with her head over their hands uh, behind the statue. And another is, uh, has dived into some of the like water that's surrounding the statue. Okay, and how far away are they from me? About. Um, I would say that the two that are near the statue are closest to you. Okay. The one that is trying holding the cobblestone up is kind of equidistant between you and Tintin. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to maintain that distance then. Dodge as well as I can. By yourself? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, what did you get? 27. 27. You're under. Or 24, you're I'm under. Sorry. You have evasion. Tintin, you're going to be taking half of this automatically, and you'll take half of this as well because you succeeded. Make sense? Mm -hmm. See. As a bunch of these little pieces of stone metal, you're not sure, start can to I, come down. Can I try to shoot um, some of these? These are the like, bigger ones, anyway. These are like the size of softballs. No, no much oh. smaller. Golf we're talking balls. about grapes. No, we're like peas. No, these are the size of grains of sand. Yeah. Um, that are maybe a little bit bigger, but like no more than little ball bearings is what I'll say is the size of these things. Okay. So uh, th it's trying to shoot some like I'll, I'll billions just, of those things. Not happening. I'll just do whatever's a a, a larger of. A, large target basically because um <clears throat> at the if moment there's something coming that's uh, all. you do know a large target is coming it's about the size if not larger than the entire city okay so your your blast isn't going to do anything to this um but you have you're not sure about it but most often that's what happens and this is just the preamble of a bunch of micro meters <laughs> As you can hear, just metal and stone clanging yeah. up against the stone. Uh, you see there is like a partial force field to Leo as you're there that kind of like 
appears to kind of like shimmer up against the stone, up against the statue to keep the statue thing, but it's like skin tight up against the statue to protect it because that's what they value. Mm -hmm. um, not the lives of people around. As a bunch of tiny little jagged shrapnel size kind of ball bearings just uh, hit you and scrape you and pass through uh, some of your collarbones and area. I rolled near max damage. Okay. Uh, 36 halved to 18. 18. You take 18 okay. points of piercing damage. Uh, you do as well um, as you are trying to like dodge raindrops as it is. After that, you see there's this kind of like cataclysmic flash. <laughs> almost like a nuclear bomb flash as it finally pierces the atmosphere and you see it kind of push some of the wispy clouds away as you see this massive and you just hear like you sort of familiar because we're near the base and you hear like the planes and fighter jets fly over all the time. This massive fireball just streaking across the sky. You don't know where this thing is headed you're not sure if it's headed on a direct course for this thing. You don't know. You're not smart enough to figure that out. You don't know orbital rocket science, that type of thing. You can try, uh, but Tintin, you're, nothing has yet. Um, uh, what are you guys doing? You're still running. Um, go ahead, roll another deck save. Uh, you are under Tintin. You're okay. You're under Tintin. You're okay. What are you doing? Did anybody else... Go down. Did anybody go down? Does anybody stop moving? Uh, anybody, you mean, of the, like, of the, the peasantry? Three. Yeah. The civilians? Yes. Uh, the one who just has their hands over their head um, and was just kind of rocking back and forth, trying to avoid the apocalypse and trying to not be here anymore, uh, uh, did and like got knocked down. Okay, I'm going to cast healing word on that one. Oh yeah? yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll your healing. Sure. Um, it appears to be a uh, half-elven individual. Actually, this is a very good point. They had a hood up, and now they went, and they're like on the ground. The hood has fallen back, and you can see the, uh, via the ears that this is a half elven individual. It also, actually, roll an insight check after you do that. Okay. While this is going on, sure. just reassuring the ones that we dragged underneath. Ten, just. Yeah, they're not protesting. Be, everything will be okay. You're safe now. Um, there's like two humans that are just nodding, and it looks like there's another Ibkest and and uh, uh, another uh, what looks like you have grabbed a, a, a gnome of some type, or I'm sorry, not a gnome, a halfling of some type. Uh, as you pull them under there, they're all just like kind of, like <laughs> and um, almost all the people that you grabbed look like they are of less fortune. They do not have adequate clothing for the winter should it become that season, if that makes sense. Uh, go ahead. Healing of 10. Healing of 10, uh, you see them uh, rouse and come back uh, and kind of like look of the blood that's on the ground of theirs and like start to pat around themselves and panic a little bit. They look completely back. Come this way, come this way. Uh, and persuasion check and insight check. 19 on the insight. 19 on the insight. It looks like this individual was trying to hide the fact that they had some sort of Elvian lineage. 26 on the persuasion. Uh, 26 on the persuasion. Uh, they, like, as they're touching their head, realize that their hood is down, pull their hood back up, and rush towards you. Perfect. And Perfect. what do you do? Because you're out in the open. We're going to go over to this. To, to There's no ambulation. room under there. It's taken up by six individuals. There's no room under there. Stay with me, then. Stay with me. I'll make sure you don't go down. So you're just... Body shielding them? Okay, you got it. I... Everybody, please take one of the monocles. Crush them with your hand. Basically casting Bless on Maeve, um, yeah. to Leo, and... Now that you guys are under there and the individuals with you, you no longer have to roll dex saves. You are undercover. You're fine. Um, but yeah, you can give them... There's like these little like... Uh, little pendants and monoc uh, um, things that she disperses out that kind of pop down like almost gumball machine style yeah. at the bottom of you yeah. uh, that give you what it is that she's giving you, give you this. Yeah. And Len, too. Uh, and Len, yes, well. Um, great. Osfer, you're moving again. Roll another dex save, roll another dex save. 
as you see this, and I am slowly working, working my way towards Tintum, still. There you go. Um, still yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. Even if it's just a wall. That one has a touch hit spell, and that Am one I still within the aura? I don't know how big that is. Uh, uh, it's only 10 no, feet. No, 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 it's only 10 yeah. feet. 16. Yeah. 16. I, yeah, I can't even give you one of the monocles, That's just a success, so you take no damage. I'd have well over a 20. Um, um, that's a success as well. You're going to take half damage. 24. But you will, you will also be taking, because you're purposely trying to splay your body out to protect this individual, you're going to be taking... I was wanna, not quite. I'm not that, I'm not that nice. nice. You're not that nice? I'm not that nice, no. I'm, I, I can make gonna... sure that both of us stay up. Or okay, so I then what up. you'll do is just give them advantage on their check. Yeah, sounds perfect. And instead of taking their damage. So. There's one thing I want to try. I don't know if it'll work. I was going to run out to, to Leo and that person and cast Warning Wind. See if okay. that helps. Like, it's supposed to just give ranged attack rolls disadvantage. Yeah, I understand. I know what, I'm familiar yeah. with the spell. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, you can do that. I would say that would just be, your speed is rather quick, right? What do you have, like 40? 35. 35? Um, What's the range on that spell? It's from yourself. Um, and uh, hang on. It's not wind wall. It's, it's a ten. Foot, yeah, warning wind. It's a ten foot radius that moves with you and centered on yourself. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'd say you'll be able to get within ten feet of Talio if you kind of rush out there. Is it bonus action or action? Action. Action. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd say you'd just be able to get there. Sure. That will essentially give everyone who is there evasion. So if you succeed on the, uh, what did you get on your? It was a 20 20, so something. you succeed, so you take no yeah. damage. Perfect. Uh, they will get advantage on their save. If they succeed, they take no damage. As you yeah, you feel this kind of like, as you see Talio just kind of like move very quickly up to you as this kind of like torrent of gust is spinning around and you just, hear a bunch of other ting, 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 on the ground around you, but not on you. Oof, even with the vantage, they did not roll well. Um, so, they're down again. As you see, one errant um, hit them, like uh, a kind of glance off of their skull, and you can see some of the, the bone and other matter there as they're kind of knocked out. Right. Um, are there any other individuals out there that aren't accounted for by us? Yes. Uh, there's the individual that's holding up the stone uh, okay. that's trying to protect themselves, and the individual who dived into the water, which of which you can no longer see. Speaking of which... There's room for one more now, since they're up. Yeah. Uh, you are technically within, because you, Talio is still within the statue. The individual that's under the water oh, is the benefiting from this. Okay, as well. cool. Um, but yeah. not the one with the, the big, like, I, kind of like cornerstone that they're holding up on their butt. I would like to leave the cover and run over to the one with the stone and try and rescue them. Okay, what's your speed? Um, 30. 30? Yes. Uh, rescue them how? Like grab them and pull them back? Grab them and pull them back. Okay, you will have to use your action to dash to even attempt uh, that type of move in a single round. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, okay, cool. You could action switch um, to dash again, too. You could, yes, you absolutely yeah. could if you'd like to. Um, this individual is holding up a very sto a heavy stone to uh, do this, to try to protect themselves. Are you just attempting to grab them and wrench them away, or are you trying to persuade them to come with you so that they don't fight you? Are you trying Not to like the pick moment. them up I'm and I'm just move? trying to like, I, I am in, I want to save these people mode. I'm just gonna grab this person and try and drag them along. Okay, cool. Cause like, now they're like entrenched because it has started. Before it was just you just kind of grabbing yes. people up. Um, go ahead and roll an athletics check for me. <laughs> That's bad. Eight. Did you? Oh, check. Sorry. Four. So you yeah. grab this person because <laughs> uh, 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 they're not really paying too much attention. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. And uh, you the the stone falls and you see a, like a, a, a golf ball size piece kind of and then bed, him, bed itself into the stone that was right where they were as you grab them and pull them and run away. Uh, you will not reach back to 
You had to use your your action to dash to get to them. You have 20 more feet that you're now moving, and you're moving at half speed. The yes. only possible way would be use, to would be to unless you want to be out here this turn would be to I'll, try to do it again. I'll I'll shield them with my body. Okay. Yeah. Unless you want to use your action search to dash again. Not right now. Okay. Okay. Um, so that'll give. Oh yeah. Uh, you you want to shield them entirely. You want to take all the damage that they would yes. take. Okay. You got it. Um, go ahead and roll your deck save then. You're blessed, aren't you? You are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So you get a D4. And, and how, if you're like within 10... Like a D4 ten, added to... Not quite yet. Not that close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, add a D4 to it. Sorry, where is my D4? Because you're blessed. <laughs> where is my D4? Shit. I don't know. Um, little Uber, little yours, cat boy. Saves and attacks. Okay. I am. <laughs> it's a two. It's a character. Um, <laughs> I am. <really> cat man. <laughs> Like, 17? Like like 17? Yeah. Uh, yes, that succeeds. Exactly. Okay. Um, okay. So they succeeded as well, and you succeeded, which is both half damage, so it's just the equivalent of just full damage for you, because you're taking their damage as well. Does that make yes. sense? Yes. You take 13 points of piercing damage. It did not roll well. Okay. Um, great. Uh, that is, they believe, the end of that one. You reach where it is that you're going now. Mm -hmm. um, there is this kind of like half open, uh, looks like somebody's like trying to like fully hold it closed as it doesn't like really latch perfectly. Uh, are you trying to get in there with that person? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you just, uh, just roll athletics check at advantage here for me, real quick. I'm also just yelling out, let us in, let us in. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, they don't give a, a shit. <laughs> you're trying to jump to a building. Oh, no, like inside of like a, a right. like a foxhole yeah. covered with some sort of like latch, like cellar door type. You said athletics. Manhole. Yeah, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yeah, you just kind of uh, re you use the momentum of your thing to like skid open as if you're sliding into a base and just poof, kick the uh, the door open and with this and with that just still slide into the area as the individual grabs the door, poof, pulls it closed, and you can hear. Poof, bunch of like metal pieces hitting a uh, door and you see a couple of holes kind of being perforated there were already a couple uh small holes in here before as you ting 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 ting, ting on the stairwell as you begin to tumble down the stairwell with this individual oh there's there's room okay yeah there's room cool, cool. there's room uh it goes into the bowels and the depths of this place it is like uh it's large not just the top there's a lot of this so you're okay, you're safe, but you are in the dark. There's yeah. no light here. There was some weird monk shit I was going to be doing if there was not <laughs> No, no, you're good. There's plenty of room. You just kind of continue to, like, uh, tumble down the stairs to get it far away from the area uh, as possible. Nothing that would hurt you or the individual, uh, but you are good. Great. So the uh, next time around, Len, you are out there. Did you roll your deck save for last one? Because you jumped out. No, I didn't. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Uh, you do get evasion for this because of what you're doing for... Or whatever Windwall would do for you, let's just say. And that yeah. D4. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Can you steal that card? 14. I rolled a 5, and I went all the way up to 14. <laughs> 14. That's not a success. Um, Windwall, what does what? Give you, you half. Me? I'm sorry, not Windwall. Warding Wind, what does what? Give you resistance to stuff? It generally gives you it, it makes ranged attack rolls disadvantaged against it. okay so it's like a lesser wind wall type thing uh also so it would like, essentially like 35 ish okay, yeah here. again i'll just give you the same effect to give everybody else it would be evasion so okay. you did not succeed so you'll take half damage right. um you're not protecting anybody right no okay Need more d6s. No, you no, don't. don't. <laughs> Roll these Things you never want to hear your DM say. Right. I guess it could be worse. It could be. So I need more d20s. So you take 19 points. Mm -hmm. Well, half of. Yeah, 19 points of piercing damage as a bunch of larger pieces kind of uh, and just shred the out, outer parts of you. You feel 
uh, your like love handle almost get entirely just eviscerated. Ooh. Also, I failed my concentration. You failed your concentration, so it's down now. Mm. Um, so the winding well, ward thing is no longer effective. Um, great, that's the end of that one. You can now, this fireball is now greening. Um, you see this thing, Kareen, it's getting dangerously close. Um, Tintin, your emergency protocol goes off. Uh, you have a decision. Do you okay. abandon the city or, and grab as many people as you can, or do you stay here? Mm-hmm. It, your emergency protocol is pretty much saying the error of margin of your calculations for seeing if this thing is going to hit the city or not is too close to call. Uh, what you do know is that it will not be a direct hit. Anyone? <clears throat> Pardon me. I, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <coughs> Cough ball. Um, please, get near to me. We must evacuate immediately. Margin of error is too high. Too low. Sorry, sorry. Programming is wrong. It's time to go. I get out of salvo mode. We need all for really fast. Well, I don't think fast, I don't think there's a way to get fast, but... uh... General Greaves may find some solutions for, for personnel at the station. Osper, get over here, please. Uh, you yeah, like, you, he's uh, cool. underground I, I, and far I'm away. Just, okay, <laughs> just shouting into the... Yeah, I guess I'll... I guess I'll, I'll try to pick up Tilio and the other guy. And like, Actually, Tilio can run. I can run. I'll, I'll pick up the other guy. And we'll try to we'll try to run back. I'm going to cast Healing Word so that the other guy's alive again. <laughs> this is my home now. Um, you got it. Yeah, bonus action Healing Word. Bonus action Healing Word. And then I still get my action to dash. Um, so just give me your intent here, because rather than do one person at a time okay. now, are you guys trying to evacuate and like jump off the edge of this city and run towards that? Because there's no way you can reach that in a single turn. Or are you trying to get... Where? What is it you're trying to do? What's your intent? What's the protocol exactly? Protocol, for- it... Point. Your emergency protocol goes went off, which is it just any General Greaves programmed into you saying it's your choice now. You decide what's best. And he let your you have free will in this moment. If that means protecting yourself, if that means evacuating, there's, it's up to you. There's just no other bells and whistles, though, that I would have at my um, disposal. For... All you know is that the calculations that you were able to do in this split-second timing, the you you do not know whether it's going to, um, like, glance the city or not hit the city at all. Mm-hmm. You know that it won't be, like, a direct hit, but you don't know whether it's going to make contact with the city at all. And so it's pretty much saying... Uh, you no longer have to follow any of the other protocol. You, uh, in a split second, you can decide what's best. Use your best judgment. Okay. Goodbye, Osmov Souls. <laughs> I'm running towards Tintin. As do they that, <laughs> come out of salvo mode. Mm-hmm. Do that wall again if you can. That was really helpful. Do you want to carry this person? The, I, I'm, I'm healing, so they should be up. This is all happening I, yeah, in I was gonna split say, seconds. So am I, am, I able, I don't can, am I able to like pick up this person and like put up my wall? Can I even do that? Yeah, you could do that. I don't have a problem with that. You guys are all still okay. reasonably close to each other because you were able to run here with just your movement. You can run back. You still have your action to do so. Um, I would say uh, you casted Long Strider, so yeah, you should be fine. I casted over 10. Oh, Which is um, not a bad thing, actually. Not a bad thing now that you can move. Um, if you want to like meet, too. if you want to meet <laughs> Len now halfway, uh, yeah, yeah, I would say all of you can try to like huddle together if you want. How many creatures can I carry? Because I have a large care. I'm a uh, large you creature. could probably carry at most 
if you were really pushing the envelope, like four medium individuals. Okay. Um, granted, that requires your back to be empty so you can throw them on their back. And I suppose, and I, it, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe you're trying to use your back as some sort of shield in this area. So I think you'd right be now, able to so only like, like three or two, like depending on the size. Bushel hold like three in front of you. And it's okay. like a gargantuan meteor in the sky. Uh, this thing is absolutely, truly titanic. Uh, we're talking about, we're on the scale of space now rather than Earth or, you know, Vontiria. Um, this thing is very, very big, as it does. We need to jump off the side. Does anybody have anything to help? You are slow way them? too far from the side of the city. No, I, but there's nothing else that uh, I'm, like that I would have knowledge of to get out of the situation. At least two thousand feet or more from the edge of the city. Um, okay, so like half a mile. Then there's the nothing. The city else. itself is about a mile or two in diameter. And again, nothing else that I would know of for exit routes, anything like that. Go down if you can. Sh but out. again, it's it's up to you. You decide what it is you want to I, do. Yeah, I just I don't know. Oh, what, what, I so, don't know. Like, what <laughs> she, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. My mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> the best options that are afforded to you are to either evacuate, jump off, and use your you know. Uh, kinetic deceleration boosters before you splat, which is at the moment not an option given the amount of time afforded to you. Uh, go down by any means possible and try to weather whatever might happen uh, or head to the Ehrenbach estate because it's covered with a magical shield. How far away is the Ehrenbach estate? Closer than the edge of the city? Closer than the edge. Further away from the, from the bulwark. I say we go to the bulwark. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it was, the, what you had, what you had gone into was kind of like a, those outdoor wooden cellar doors, which doesn't afford much thing, but once you go down the stairs, then it's all the ground above you that's there. Uh, the, the bulwark, uh, like, airlock was what you went to to get out of Greaves' facility which is not anywhere near close to you right now. Than okay, yeah, I just mean the thing that also I've done. Yeah, you guys can go there if you like. It's going to take more than one turn to do there with all these people. Yes. I, Let's yeah. do it. I would vote. I'd strongly advise going to the Ehrenbach Nation for it's a different target for this particular meteor. It is much coming. farther away, though. It's up to you. Yeah. There is almost, if we are hit, certain death and tra an entrapment. You if guys have to us. decide. If it hits us, a... we're all dead. If it doesn't hit us, we can at least get to safety. Let's go to the cellar thing. Okay, right, well, you go. guys go. Like Very You well. guys don't really have go. time to have Grab. conversations, so you guys, poof, you Grab. book it to that thing. Um, everybody roll a, another dexterity check. You cast at the thing again. Everybody has evasion for this. Uh, Osfa, you're safe. Mm -hmm. You are hobbled with a bunch of other people uh, now that someone finally, like, uh, use a matchbox and light something up and you see some another person kind of uh, use some magic to create some sort of light uh, down plus there two, there are plus five plus four it's kind of I love almost that. cistern like <laughs> uh, oh, down here D4, right? mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, kind of cave cistern like <laughs> down here plus add that's another somewhat because you all are near uh, me now mm -hmm. carved and, mm -hmm. and worked stuff 31 but also some that's kept <laughs> naturally for appearances we love those it's rules. very crowded to give you an idea of what it looks like, it looks like the people that were hiding in the further caves of Minas Tirith, the women and children, kind of like that. That's kind of what. That's kind of the vibe you're getting here. Does that make sense? Um, go ahead. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Shit. Twenty-five. Yeah. Thirteen. Well, Thirteen. Did you, add, did you add another four to it too? Yeah, I oh, dang it. And the D four. Okay. What did you roll on your D twenty? Oh, what a two. Wait, we're supposed to add a four and a D four. Yeah, because you're yeah. right next to me. If you oh. were blessed, yeah. Yeah. Shit, that's yeah. like a twenty-nine. Yeah, then. the three of you Hashtag are blessed. blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Oh, I, I was thinking the D four instead of the flat four. You, yeah. get, both. you get both. The aura so. and the so blessed. That's seventeen. I also got seventeen. Seventeen. That's a success. There you go. <gasps> Woo. Yeah. Okay, so seventeen for, as well, yeah. and then I. That's don't know everybody. Everybody succeeded. 
Uh, and you guys are block. You guys, thirties and everything. Yeah, you're blocking these people's bodies. No damage. Um, you guys are literally dodging raindrops, and you hear ting, 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 tung, tung, boom, tung, as there looks to be like fist-sized ones that just kind of poof, you, poof, clink, clink off of your shoulder pads uh, on top of your form. Uh, you're very, very glad Tintin is here right now. Uh, the next round, you will get there. You'll, but this is what happens now. I rolled for this, but that one already. I just need to roll for that. Uh, you see, this thing is much closer now. And you see it's about the size of the city itself as it's moving. Anybody watching this? They're only over there to oh, deflect yeah. missiles. Mm. I'm trying to concentrate. I feel like I've been dancing around pretty good. I'll give it a lick. <laughs> Go ahead and roll, roll a perception check. Right? Your eyes melt out of your skull. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do full Ark of the Covenant? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thirteen? Thirteen. This thing is wreathed in fire as you feel, as it becomes level with the city as far as the altitude is concerned and moving it at an angle, uh, you feel the entire bit of ground uh, around you quake violently uh, and feel this is uh, an immense pull of much stronger ra- of gravity pushed upon you. Like We're talking about like eight times the amount of gravity that you're usually used as your knees buckle and give way. All of you need to roll con saves. Uh, you too, Oscar, because you're still on this city. Is there a plus on this as well? Yep. yep. Every every plus save. Plus four you... to all saves. Yeah. Plus so four to ten four. feet of plus it. Plus all four to ten. ten. Yeah. Yeah, that's a paladin's then, aura for you. And then a d4 if you were Holy blessed. warrior. That crowbar, man. Mm-hmm. 19. 19. One moment. Um, 14, 18, 22. 22. 28. 28. 22. 22. 17. 17. Okay. You guys all succeeded. Um, the, those uh, you see everybody that's down here, Osfer, kind of like ah, go down as if like an elevator just kind of like fell and then stopped. As people just get shoved up to the ceiling, there are a few individuals that do get perforated by the stalactites that are da- that are down here. Nobody looks mortally wounded, but some people are quite hurt because of it. Um, as a bunch of bodies move up, like when a plane just kind of drops for a second. That's why you- and then it comes back. <laughs> you all go about 30 feet up in the air as your Ooh. knees buckle and you're just smashed up into the air as the disc moves a little bit. The entire city that you're down, uh, like a spinning plate, gets hit on one side and is forced up on the other side uh, as a glancing blow hits the side of it. Uh, you all succeeded, correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Evasion doesn't stop, deck saves. Uh, yes, you all does. take con <laughs> saves. Amount con saves. You all take oh. twelve. Okay, that's not what twelve points of bludgeoning damage, um, and that's halved already. Perfect. Ooh. To Leo, while you're up there and you're looking at this thing, this thing is wreathed in fire. It looks like there's a good part of it that's like stone, but from the stone, almost like cracking out of it, as if the stone was melted uh, over it. Uh, nothing that you would not expect from a piece of clay or other type of softer stone if it was exposed to a lot of heat, like in a furnace or a forge. So it's kind of like melted and become rounded and into something and white hot and red hot. But attached to that looks like something far more constructed. Wreathed in flames, very hard to see, but something that is giving away the blue of the sky, something looks like script from this very large, you don't know if it's a pillar or a ring or something that's attached to this other piece of stone that is glowing blue with some sort of very, very large script uh, that is wreathed in flame as it hits and then continues down into the clouds. One one question. Sure. Does the script look like the script from Elias? Uh, Can you elaborate for me? Uh, whenever Elia sent us back and well, in, forward into time, there was a script that was part of the cast. 
Um, can you remind me how I described the script? So, Cavendish had his portal that he opened. Yeah. He shifted the mist, and Elias added in the time component, which was some form of script going from him into the portal. Right, and I didn't tell you it was, any, it, I said it was some type of language you did not recognize? We did not recognize it. He looked at it and said, oh, that was very interesting. And then we got sucked in. Um, roll a... It's going to be like a really hard DC, I know. <sighs> Shit. He's like actively looking for this, though. I think... I think I just want a straight intelligence check. Straight intelligence? Straight intelligence. Fair enough. Meanwhile, the horn section goes wild. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a 15. 15. There's something oddly familiar about this script. You're not sure. Okay. Gives and me a then feel, as the this massive meteor of flaming fire disappears into the clouds below, you hear these other more elegant horns kind of emanating probably from the quadrant of the Ehrenbach um, area. Uh, uh, signal that the threat has passed. And everyone is okay as things start to settle back down. Is, and you say they're okay, does it include our half-elf friend? Uh, yeah, everyone that you rescued is okay. Okay, they're like alive um, and conscious. Pretty much what happened is that while all that was happening, um, you all ran to the area. Uh, Tintin just kind of kicked the door open and off its hinges so that there's nothing there anymore. And you all just got shoved into the stairwell as Tintin just stood there and acted as the new door. Uh, and you all guys are okay. You took the damage that you took, um, and everyone's fine. No one appeared to die as far as the people that you rescued. Um, you also do feel the ground and the city below you start to reorient as it was much more slanted now, begin to reorient and shift below you to try to uh, regain that three degree angle but the sirens have stopped. A small horn fair fanfare has signaled the end of the threat as the city realigns itself. No one dies today. Is everybody all right? Nice fucking pool. Also, you should give 10 inspiration. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> also, I should give you 10 inspiration. No, no, give 10 inspiration. <laughs> You don't have to. Yeah, you know, fuck it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that was good. Because you remembered the um, um, the mantra of the Valkyries. No one dies. That's cool. Commoners, uh, city folk, peasantry. Stop. Are you? It's just it gets getting worse. <laughs> you just Osford, have to... a person of the common folk is just like, stop. What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> Listen, you just have to give it a few are tries. You, to are you okay? Is everyone fine? Unaccounted for. While she's doing that, and no one's paying attention. <laughs> yeah, no, no one is paying attention. There's no. just a bunch of people that are like hurrying to try to help the injured and they're, like patch stuff up. They're down with B now, right? Yeah. yeah. I agree, yeah. I'm going to go and talk to the person in the hood. Maybe. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you said you... the equivalent of knife eared mongrels. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. I'm oh. sorry. I'm yes, sorry. Yes, that's the correct response. You're forgiven. <laughs> Oscar is not wrong in this. <laughs> oh, class is in session with it's Oscar. Been, Jesus. Damn. Uh, um, okay, you said you wanted to go. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, not my, not my barrel, not my monkeys. Uh, so you wanted to go talk with the hooded individual. Yes. Right. Do that yes. Uh, they are here. Uh, actually, I'll be. They went through a lot. Like, oh, I'd be keeping close tabs on this person. I, I'm okay. I'm holding them. Uh, so what's would... your passive perception? My passive perception is fourteen. Fourteen? Okay. You 
just spot this person as they're trying to slink into one of the deeper re re uh, tunnels and recesses of this underground area. I follow immediately. I mean, are you like rushing after yes, them, or are I you am. trying to sneak after them? Oh, I'm rushing after them. Okay, go. Uh, I you you push a couple people aside as you kind of rush in there, separating yourself from the rest of the party as you move and you start to. Um, this person. I will still be keeping tabs on you. Yeah, Nat twenty. <laughs> this person absolutely notices that you are following them and be and like looks behind and begins to run uh, down oh, those tunnels. Them too. Um, you don't see him running, but you see Talio running. My passive perception is 15. You, okay, yeah, <laughs> uh, um, but I, I don't think you have the impetus to know who this individual was. But you do see Talio running if you want to run after Talio. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll be like, what's going on? Don't um, the party. Okay, so you just like, Can't yeah, you do the thing where someone just dead. like, you're having a conversation and someone just starts running and you're like, well, I don't know why, why, but we're running now. And you just start running. Um, Lynn, wait up. Sh shall we all go? Chase, I chase Lynn. <laughs> um, okay, for Oscar, you guys all go. to move, you have to move through a massive crowd of people that are like trying to tend to the wounded. This is not going to be easy. It's different if like one person is trying to slip through here, but if you guys are all trying to move as a group, it's it's a much more difficult oh, endeavor. We're not trying to move as a group. You guys are trying He's to be He's following like a... him. I understand. I see. I only see him going. I cast long start on myself. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm gone. laughs> okay, okay, okay. So here's the deal. <laughs> Talio runs seemingly just uh, into the darker recesses of what's going on. Uh, Talio, do you have dark vision? I do. I do. Do you? Are yeah. you sure about that? They're a cat. As a cat, yeah. As a filela? I do. I'm not sure if they. Do you want to wager an inspiration on them? I will. <laughs> I will, yes. Talia, what I, I sent you an updated see? character sheet that had that and one of the okay. other things. Okay, uh, yes. I will trust you. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> Notice he doesn't take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go on, go on. I go get on, my go inspiration. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I get my dark vision. Uh, the time to challenge and wager me is at the beginning. Yeah. Just uh, oh, granted. Uh, to make sure that I have with oh, my goodness. <laughs> Everyone chill out. Uh, uh, I will not be made the villain here. Uh, so the uh, you uh, Talio run after this individual. You're now yes. in pitch darkness. Um, you could see only 60 feet in front of you. Uh, so should this person, uh, and this is kind of windy. So should this person get out of your sight? I mean, that's it. You, you wouldn't know. Granted, it's somewhat linear, but we'll see what happens. You, Len, you see them running. You're just like, uh, I guess I'm going that way too, and you move through. You have long strider. You make it through. You can see the dark as well. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, yes, you maintain that. Um, you see Len because you're attached at the hip at Len with Le, at the hip with Len now, and you run after the like. Uh, I want to the imagery here is that uh, so you run uh, and you're following. Yeah, well, and I beckoned Osfer to come too because I don't. I'm not letting the wards out of my sight. Yeah. So, so while speak. you're yeah. telling Ree, like, I'm sorry, fucking Ree, like, while you're telling Maeve, <laughs> oh my god, here. I can't fucking do this. Look, I. When I know you as the character and the person, it's difficult, and my brain just spills okay, out of my eyes. <laughs> so the character and me are not the same. I person know they're not the both, same person, but I I'm very well aware. Yes, but I understand the confusion because we're both fabulous and amazing, and everyone loves us. Yeah, <sighs> I'll and I'm that. a cat in real life. Um, <laughs> so yeah, true. <laughs> I'll ignore that. Uh, while <laughs> Maeve is being told off by Osfer, Maeve just decides I'm not, I'm not listening to this and I'm gonna go follow Len and just leaves. Uh, while you're you're like okay, uh, and you follow Maeve because you're supposed to keep an eye on these people and the majority of them have left. And right. Osfer, you and, are there. And while well, I had asked Osfer, shall we go? There's plenty of wounded. What are they even doing? I have no idea, but I cannot th let them out of my sight. Uh, I'm gonna okay. stay and tend to the wounded. Okay. Please be careful. You are also almost protected species. We don't. We don't want Tim to see it happen. Don't know if that's a racist or not, but so we'll let it fly. To <laughs> to help with that, because I don't want this to become a, a like a race type of thing. Almost everybody is endangered now. Now. Oh yeah. The life. Like humanoid life uh, or whatever, you know, sentient life is endangered at the moment. One second, let me finish. Um, the 
elves have taken it upon themselves to believe that they are more dangerous than everybody else, uh, which may be true, maybe not, but they have also taken it upon themselves to take a little bit more control over that type of thing. Let's just uh, leave it at that. What's your question? Uh, just for the sake of your argument, how many Filelai have I seen since being in this place? Not yet. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and I, th I think just the comment from Tin was more so geared towards not, great, not only the, your... The Filelai your... were also rather well right, it's widespread, nowhere near and populous to, let's say, humans, dwarves, oh. and elves. Well, clearly yeah. the elven I'm sorry, culture please? is more where uh, I, I think the comment was more so geared towards... <laughs> Being I, a monk, I am sure. I was just, you know, I was just trying yeah. to like help with the universal understanding. Okay, yeah. so the imagery here is actually really, really funny because each of you run and follow somebody in a very, very different way. Uh, the manner as to which you're trying to move through, uh, uh, the individual just kind of and just trying to like somebody hustling to the crowd and just trying to run away like they sold something. Um, whereas you actually. are, you know, quite graceful as you're moving through here and kind of like spin and all that thing. Uh, how Len, you move, Len? Uh, it's like a, a, a shark's fin sticking out of the sea. Like, <laughs> it's like a snake going through the crowd. Yeah, also very elegant, but more of a predatory nature. Kind of like I have a one-minded goal. So it's like that ADHD walk where you just kind of avoid stuff, but you're like <laughs> the part, the like from your like uh, sternum up is like all I'm the same. Like a bullet hell, yeah, like people. <laughs> the <laughs> eyes don't move, but the rest of the body can. Yeah, yeah, it's very oh, marching like, band. Yeah. Like yeah. all like of that. this is gyroscope, but everything else just like moves to accommodate it. Um, yeah. And then Re, you, Maeve. Jesus Christ, um, <laughs> yes. Maeve, fucking Jesus, <laughs> Maeve, you're following Len. How do you move through all this? I should print out big try to part people as I can <laughs> and sort of dance gracefully around them, doing a little flourish, a little spin, a little twirl. Yeah, and you get bumped a couple times. Oh, and you're yes. like, oh, excuse you. Yes, <laughs> sir. So you're a little bit more waylaid, giving uh, uh, Tintin a, a, a little bit more of an opportunity to uh, yeah. catch up to you as they have this short conversation with Oscar. Oscar, you stay behind to attend to, tend to the wounded. Um, do me a favor. Uh, there are quite a few people here that could use help with this. You can go ahead and roll a medicine check, and we'll run with that for a moment. You guys are running through here at this moment. This is not an easy place to move through. Uh, there are spots where it feels more like natural cave stone and caverns, and there are spots that have been then carved out where there are patches of worked stone throughout, because so it's kind of an amalgamation of both as you're moving through all these things. Having said that, the person who spotted it first is you, Tilio. You're going to have to roll uh, your, what's your question? I have an intention to give you. An intention? Yes. Sure. So it's, it was stuck down here? Yes. I'm assuming there aren't so many people down here now. Like it was crowded up there. You're not where the main, like, larger okay. area, the 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 um and it, the like, throngs, the vaulted, the vaulted many, area. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like there's a bunch of people. Are there any people around here? Is it just me and? <laughs> I would say they. Um, there were a couple, few people meandering a little bit further into some of this area to try to get deeper. Uh, at first glance, as far as what you're moving, you guys are moving fast yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, so at first glance from what you see, you don't see anybody else but this person at the moment, but that could change at any moment. Okay. At that point, what I want to do is cast sleep on them. I know that they are very wounded. What is the nothing. range of sleep? It's 120 feet, I believe. Let me double check oh. it. It's, oh yeah, it's great. The spell is just amazing. Okay, cool. Um, so 90 foot. We're gonna put that on the stack. What it's I was gonna say yes. before is is have you roll something to see if you can keep keep up with them. So you because it requires you to see them, correct? No, I target a point. I don't have to have vision of them. Oh right. If you target a point, you need to have air, you have, need to have line of effect, is what it's called. I need to see the point I'm targeting. You need to see the point that you're yes. targeting. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, what is the radius of? From that point? The radius from that point is 20 foot. 20 foot radius. Okay, so it's up to you. You can either blind target and, well, first, sorry, there's a bunch of things we need to do. Yes, we have a lot of stuff. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have you roll just a basic dex dexterity check here. Uh, just basic dexterity, um, because this is whether you can keep up with this person, because it had more to do with you kind of weaving and bobbing out of people and then moving through this, because there's a lot of twists and turns through, than it is the actual, like, uh, mile run constitution athletics type of thing. Make sense? Yep. I don't want to lose this person. I'm going to use the world instead. 
Well, that was worse. <laughs> Do I take the first one? Yeah, you take the okay. first one. Yeah. Uh, seven. Seven total? Seven total. Okay, um, this person definitely gets a lead on you and does turn around one of the bends, uh, so you can't see them anymore. Uh, you can, if you want to, throw it at the farthest point that you can see and see what happens. If it doesn't work, that's a spell slot. It's up to that's, you. that's perfect, let's do it. Okay, so I will be rolling a luck check over here to see if they're still within that area. Okay. And I do you want me to roll the d8, so do we want to take this as a granite? Um, you, yeah, go ahead and roll the d8. Okay, one, nine, 13. 18. 18. Uh, you continue to run. The rest of you continue to follow. Uh, uh, everyone else, please also roll dex checks that you are following. Um, Tintin, how big are you? I'm you're a large creature. Big. You're a large creature. Dark. You must be rolling this at disadvantage. Is that it? Your third nat 20 yeah. tonight. <laughs> Jesus. Wild. Um, you need to be rolling this at disadvantage because this, this is not really big enough for you to be fitting through. You're kind of blocking the area. Yeah. Uh, you're kind of doing this as you're trying to fit through. Um, okay, I'm also trying. Uh, yeah. Dex check, just straight dex. Oh, yeah. just so d20 plus your dex mod. Yeah. Plus, um, <clears throat> I think we're you can still do. Uh, well, oh, checks. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Yes. Sorry. You got a nat twenty. I mean, yeah, you keep up. Oh, you're not there. Uh, what'd you get? Six. Six. Okay, <laughs> so you get kind of like stuck in one of the spots, and you're like, pff, pff, pff. eventually you're strong enough. You like. Pff, Pull a couple of the, a bit of the stonework free as you continue to move, but there everyone else is gaining on you quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, uh, Len, you are gaining on Talio quite a bit. As Talio, you turn the bend and stop for a moment to see if there's anything there, and you see this one individual that's like around the corner that's sleeping that was sitting there, and it looks like they've got like uh, some sort of like wooden. Uh, like fetish or something in their hand, like they were praying or meditating or something. This is not the same individual. This is just somebody right. else that Someone was hiding else. there that you cast and sleep on. Uh, and you catch up to Talio as they stop to look. But you very quickly notice that this is not the person you're after. So who is this? Hooded figure. Let's go. We gotta keep going. Where? Further down. Let me look. You guys continue running. Oh, go. I'm, I'm, I'm um, dashing. I'm fast. Ree, you're just... Keeping pace with everybody, Mavis. you see them stop. And Mavis. I'm fucking god damn it! You need to make a deal. Oh. A penny draw. This is fine. It's because y'all dress the same. Yeah. It's because you also dress as your character every time. No, today I'm dressed very. I'm dressed like you a Texan. You have a cat person, and that's the one that trips you up? Texans wear antlers? Oh, uh, well, this one does. You yeah. don't know that. <laughs> you don't know Texas. I feel like 14 <laughs> jokes that I'm not making right now. God, we're gonna lose followers um, if, uh, if over this. Uh, just so. point of clarification: I was double checking. I am still a medium creature. I just have a large carrying capacity. Ah, okay. So, but I'm still clumsy going down. You're this hallway. huge. Yeah, you're still a very so, large person. Yeah, uh, you're still. This is difficult for you to be doing tight spaces like yeah. this. It makes a lot of sense, especially given your uh, predisposition of Zectech to have this be a little bit something that's not. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, you'll, you'll, I just yeah, wanted to, yeah. You're, you're still moving. Um, you're still falling behind a little bit, yeah. Okay, I see the two of them catch up to each other far in the distance. Yeah. Uh, well, here's the deal. Don't I? Every, like, between every 20 to 60 feet, this thing winds and turns. Oh, okay. So I don't think you actually see them yet because you still have to turn the bend. I oh, think at the very just, last uh, second, as you turn one of the bends, you see both Len and Talio, like the heels of them kind of rush off past the corner. Can I try something? Um, you may. As I'm chasing, I want to like... Uh, I should chase it. <laughs> I want to like kind of start to slowly run up the side of like a building as I go for it and get some height so I can like maybe like look out for like that same hooded figure. Okay. Get a little bit of a vantage point like, while I'm running. Still gyroscopic. Yeah. <laughs> Body's like just. <laughs> you know, there's like rooms right. that like twist. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm giving that. Like, I'm cool. getting like Haunted Mansion vibes out of it, oh. actually. Yeah. Okay. Twisted staircase. You know, mm -hmm. now that I think about it, even if I had run after you guys, I do not have dark vision. I <laughs> might have just straight up gotten lost out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> so we we lost our Oscar again. 
Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, so musically, I'm kind of imagining just like a Benny Hill theme moment. Yeah, I'm trying to pull that up, but... No, although I think that one's yeah, copyright. That's not it. Something's mm. That's definitely not, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good enough. Um, uh, you know, I have a better one. I, I mean, there's the... What's a silly one? The, the Pandarian there we go. theme. Okay. No, they're not playing that much Pandaria. It's very silly. I was picking this. As it continues um, to get darker, I'll pull out a little torch. I think they don't have dark vision, right? Yeah. I'll I take out my flashlight. Go. I don't. There we go. Uh, as you guys cause you run down this way, you want to do something where gyroscopic, where you try to run on the wall? Is that what you're talking about? I kind of missed that. I'm sorry. Well, I I'm running. I'm trying to like also run up the side of like built like a building, get higher. Maybe. Do get you a still vantage. have spider climb? Yeah. Okay. And try to get more of a vantage point. Maybe be like. You're oh, in a very the... tight tunnel. There is no oh, like. We're just in, like oh, there's yeah, no we're vaulted still, we're area. Still in a, like... You're still in like winding, curving tunnels that split out very labyrinthine at the moment. That's right. Okay. Um, um, yeah. That's what's happening. Uh, the only reason why you're able to keep on the trail of this person is because you're moving so fast, but you could very easily lose track of them uh, uh, because so many other things branch off. There's a lot of winding, winding, winding tunnels through here. Right, okay, that makes sense. Um, so I'm chasing them, trying to listen for yeah. like someone running. Okay, so dex checks again for everybody. I think at this point, Bless has run out. Yes. You can't use it on just a dex check anyway. Right. It's but, attacks and saving throws. But yeah. just in general. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 18 for me. 14. 14. 14. 14. Uh, okay, Talia, you're That's able right. to catch That's the okay. heels of this individual as they're turning around. You appear to be gaining on them somewhat. Okay. Can I shoot again? Uh, you can. You have line of sight with them now. I sh I'll shoot sleep again. You got it. Um, you... Uh, Len and you, because you, uh, Len, you fall back a little bit from Talio as they kind of push forward. Oh, Len, are you running on the walls right now? No, no I can't. Oh, okay. Uh, as right. Maeve, uh, as now can see Len, is like, <sighs> uh, trying to move through, and... Nat one, so I fall down. Um, <laughs> you just, you don't fall down, you just get stuck in an area as... Your big shoulder metal plates get jammed and no. get stuck in an area where like an, a no. motor is trying to turn, but it's it's getting too much tension and it can't turn. Not <laughs> again. That impact driver <laughs> sound. Not again. Please come mm. back. Please. Back, Please. Back, back, back. As you're fully stuck there. Oh, just just pulling a Tin Man. <sighs> yep. Um, uh, as you hear <laughs> echoing from down the cavernous hallways, go ahead, uh, roll your thing. They get a saving throw, correct? Nope. No, right, it's just hit points. What level? Hit points. You're just casting it at first level? First level, yeah. How many hit points? 19. 19? Uh, uh, you see this person just, down. Yep. you see the ankles and calves of this person just... <laughs> fall down as you hear kind of like a okay I approach uh, the person is asleep around the bend as you see uh, the the hood that's kind of fallen down is it like anyone else around like a pool of condensation like any other um, characters doesn't look to be you can roll a perception check though if you like absolutely uh, 21 you don't see anybody, at least in this immediate vicinity. Uh, Len, you catch up. Maeve, Len. you catch up. Len, why are you running? Tulio was running. Thought it might be important. It is important. It is important. Okay. And what um, is it? So, do you see this person here in front of us? I just kind of like pick them up and set them against the side of the wall. Um, and, and take a look kind of right here. Do you see that? That is a half elf, I think. 
Yes, and they were they very much didn't want anyone to know that. And we've got at least two of you here that are also elves, and maybe this person knows a little bit more about the um, Arambaka state. Maybe there's a reason they're not part of it. Doesn't seem like. Yeah, I would I very that. much like to know and ask them some questions. Also, they saved this person's life twice. They owe me something. It's fair. So um, I'm gonna wake them up. Make sure they don't get away. Hey, TJ. I assume no one could. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love that. Fair <laughs> trick. I assume um, no one could really tell that I'm a half elf just because I got all the like, like, like green going on. Like. Um, your your hair also um has become far more coarse, more like shrubbery, so it's very easy to hide your right. at least the apparent more obvious physical attributes of such, uh, which I believe you were trying to beforehand anyway. Uh, because of your lineage and not want it to be well known. So unless you had told me at any particular time that you were not trying to hide it anymore, I assumed it was still trying to be. Yeah, I would be trying to hide yeah. it, yeah. Um, and yeah. I borrowed a hood, didn't I? I don't remember. I thought I did. They can probably I think you assume. did, yeah. yeah. I think okay. you did cause before we left the yeah. compound. Hey. All right. Yes, um, we're waiting for him to wake up. Uh, no. Are you trying to like, Reorient it too, so it's just like kind yeah. of fix it back up. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, your hair acts more like vines and shrubbery now than it did where it was, where it was that more like sleek, straight kind of that thing. It acts differently. I don't want to say that like a curl has attached to it. It's up to you. It's your character, but I think it's, it's like a little that. bit more. I've been wanting to draw something. Oh, yeah, cool. okay. yeah, please. Um, I think it's a little bit more. Thick and verdant. Mm. Uh, yes. So. Volume. That volume. Right. Oh, yeah. Give question. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Maybe he's born with a bit <laughs> what? what? And they try to jump and leave. Um, they try to jump up and leave. Are uh, you guys I'll, trying I'll to stop them? them. Yeah. You want to grab them? Go ahead. Uh, roll athletics check. I figured the assumption was I'd be like, like holding them or something. Like uh, that. yeah, like, I'd go do it at advantage. All right. They haven't oh. even their coffee. I wasn't trying to just that, get actually, up but... <laughs> Wait, so Lynn is like holding this guy while Talia just it's like slaps leaned up against him. the the the, <laughs> the wall of this tunnel, and I guess uh, he just got his hands on him, just kind of like, no, stay yeah. there. What's up? Oh yeah, Bram is though. Twenty-one. Four. So you just. They tr- they do that thing where they kind of try to sit up to reorient their body, but you got like the whole putting your finger here where they can't move type of thing, where you've got their your hand on the shoulder and you just go, pin you again type style, uh, and you just push them against like ah, oh. what? Hey, it's okay. No, I, I, I can't, I can't. It's okay. Please please don't just it's don't okay. report. I don't need. I relax, relax. No, I'm not gonna relax. Are you kidding me? I cast calm I don't need to be re- what? I cast calm emotions. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. wasn't a question. Oh, you, you got it. <laughs> that uh, was a command. Is it a wisdom saving throw? Uh, let's see here. Yes. A charisma saving throw. Charisma saving throw? What's your mm-hmm. DC? My DC is... Bong rip magic. 14. 14, that's I a failure. Relax. Um, so there they is. are... They're <laughs> just yeah. like... They're like, I'm not going to calm down. I'm calm. Talia, yeah, might I, might I try like, something as well? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I love that. <laughs> Good answer. We gotta shut that one right down. <laughs> okay, so I'm just playing a little bit to calm cool. down. Uh, while they're doing that, did you roll your medicine check for me? Yeah, um, I got a 16. 16. You are able to patch up a, a look, what looks like two individuals that appear to be perfect by this light type, there's still like seven more. Okay. Um, But you're doing good work, and the people that, something occurs to you where you're like, uh, these people do know what they're doing, they have to constantly do triage, but you were trained and a little bit more specifically this type of stuff. So Mm -hmm. they're like, wow, that was like really good. Uh, And you start to gain just a tad bit of attention because of it. Game recognized game. Yeah. (laughs) Go ahead. Okay. I saw your head down. Yeah, I mean, I was hiding. Good. The fact that I am what I am. 
Um, do you mind if I ask why? We just got here and we don't know. Mm. I'll roll persuasion check at advantage because you have calm emotions. Now. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Their voice changes. So they're like, "Look, all right. Um, that's the type of thing you know, I try to put out there for other people. You know, just trying to be somebody else, trying to blend in. Because I don't know any problems or any type of business to do with whatever this initiative it is. You're know, like, I've heard some horror stories, and I don't want to be part of it. Uh, we don't either, and." down oh shit I'm yes. calm but I'm very scared don't like I said we just got here we don't have any contact with anyone else here of that lineage it's fine I, I don't matter me none what horror stories have you heard I've heard quite a few horror stories about you know people who are of proper lineage just kind of being wrapped up by the Ehrenbach nation and just never being heard from again. Granted, a lot of people don't leave the Ehrenbach thing. I've also heard stories about people being used as just basically brood mares over there, trying to keep the uh, elven population bigger. Is that track? Mm. Not much different. It does sound like the sort of thing my people would do. I wasn't, well, I mean, I was, my marriage was arranged, so I can only imagine extrapolating from that for these dire circumstances. It sounds about right. All that yeah. and a cup of tea, I assume. Wait, they have tea? Yeah, the only ones left to have tea. Should get up there sometime and investigate. You, know? <laughs> you guys are like, I wouldn't do that for a million years. Never, never, I would do that. They have tea. Me. <sighs> what time is our appointment? I mean. Lovely cat venti. Tea cat venti. I'm calm. So. Oh, are there horror stories? Um, yes, please. Uh, well. Who do you know? Who do you know up there? Who do I know? Yeah, where'd you uh, get these I mean, stories? I mean, I had someone that I used to run with when I tried to do some redeeming work, and they uh, got caught up in it, and uh, haven't heard from them since. Some redeeming work? Some redeemer work. Oh, like the Valkyries? Well, no, not like the Valkyries. <laughs> not like they're, they're just the basic mercenary type work. They're just, uh, they're on a whole other level. Hmm. No, I don't have the funds for that type of equipment. I only have uh, I scrapped what together I could and uh, traded for a, a descent balloon and and an, a, a, you know an ascent missive and then that's it. Try yeah. to grab what I could, scrape together enough. We survived. I don't think I'll ever go down there again though. And then uh, when we got back, friend was greeted by. Well. As soon as we had enough notoriety, though having stuff that was worth anything, of course we got the attention. And then by having the attention, they found out what he was. So, yeah. Right. So what do we think about the iron box now? Well, as I was telling Lynn earlier, there is a chance that Masha, Lady Masha Ehrenbach, owes me a favor. However, that was quite a long time ago, and it was only a ball gown. You face it up. You've heard of Lady Masha. Who has it? Well, that answers the question. She owes you a boon. What are you doing down here? If she hasn't forgotten. It's been quite a while. <sighs> I doubt as much that woman forgets. I mean, it's just a blink of an eye for, you know. 
Again, what are you doing down here? Well, she owes you a boo. Why aren't you living in up high society in the apocalypse? You know, I ask myself that. I've asked myself that several times since we've gotten here. If I no, was that's a, boo. a lie. I don't want to be here. I want to be home. If I was owned a boon, I'd drink the wine cellars dry. Where is the wine, actually? It's a wine around. <laughs> Just asking for a friend. Same Just place <laughs> as all the other. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Our motivation. I mean, there's. Um, we try to make wine and everything, but it's more like bathtub gin than anything else. That's the worst. I mean, it does a trick. It does the it? job. That's true. Do you have it any taste money? Do you have any now? <laughs> um, or persuasion advantage. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it's 28. Jesus. Oh. I mean, I don't know. I really like that answer. I was, I was saving it for a, a good occasion, but I suppose... Since I feel so calm around you. <laughs> and I did save your life, what, twice now? Uh, right, yeah, there's that yeah. too. Yeah, you do owe me. Mm, yeah, I mean, I pull out what looks like... Um, yeah. I'll, make it, I'll make it a better deal for you. Like some sort of uh, leather sock. It's kind of like tied up, smells twisted. Really I'm sorry? It smells really bad, I'm assuming. Uh, you haven't opened it yet. Oh. oh. Perfect. Uh, and it's just kind of tied up and twisted. Um, Saving it for when the, I don't know really, when the best or the worst. Yeah. But you said you wanted some, right? And I just... Right. Taking this poor man. To the <laughs> I'm evil. I open it. Oh, oh. I just sniff. It's like uh, twisted and, and wrapped, so you untwist it. It's like, uh, you, you sniff it? Roll constitution saving. <laughs> you you die. Straight Everclear. I believe it's a 17. 17. 17. Uh, this is not supposed to be drunk. It's supposed to be huffed. That's how strong it is. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> uh, you're like, you feel the burn on your eyes and the and the and your nose hair start to curl back as you inhale this thing. It is not pleasant, but it is very potent. Do I get like a little drunk off of just having it? No. Yeah. You rolled high on your con, but yeah, you sense the like possibility of it. Fair enough. I hand it back. You first. What? <laughs> you literally just went you first. first. Oh, you <laughs> just went. Oh, I thought you drank it. Oh. No. That is a potent oh, shit. Are you from another remnant city? We're from so many different places. Like I said, we just got here. Don't take too much to be granted. So, all right. What's, what's the name of your friend? Keradin. Keradin. How long ago did they go up to the iron box? Two years ago. The iron yes. box, right? Perfect. Well, uh, thank you very much, friend. And we may be pis- paying a visit to the iron box. And if so, I would very much like to speak to your friend, Caradon. Who should I say sent me? I want to make sure they're on the level. I don't you know? know. I don't know anybody over there. I try to avoid them at all costs. I don't want to be caught up in that mess. Oh. They disappear, people like me. That's what the rumors say, anyway. Oh, I won't tell anyone else. Just carry them. When I find carry them. Tell me real quick, though. They say people like you get disappeared here rather than... Rather than what? Rather than the worst? Well, they say... Yeah, the that worst is different nowadays. From what I can tell, the full blood elves, they, they're kept in safety. What, what happens to half-elf? Rumor mill says that they disappeared. Some people say that they're... 
I don't know, euthanized or used as studs for something else? Okay, what if, what if they're a half-elf of a noted lineage? Possibly one more important than the Aramox. Uh, I don't know. I'm not from there. Um, I mean, if I was, I'd try to... Uh, I, I, is that what you want me to say? That I'm from a certain lineage? I'm happy to tell you that. Sure, I'm from... Uh, I'm uh, My great-great-grandfather was Aaron Bach. Spare me. Spare me. Sure, I'll say whatever you want me to say. This is Birkin. Anything else you want to ask? I do have to ask, how does one about you, how does one like yourself come about in a place like this? The elves care so much about keeping... I keep my head down, I keep my hood on, do my job, make sure I'm not noticed. Just like a lot of the underground. I'm more asking about your story. My story? Way down in the story, can I get that thing back? I'm wondering for another hat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so... I mean, my story starts back way before... No, I mean, it's not that long of a story. I was born here. Are there one the, more of you? One of the Arenbrocks decided that they would have a dalliancy with me mum. And so here I am. She hid me away, and now here I am. I see she hid the fact that she was pregnant with me, and when she had me, she took care of me as long as I could. And she, like most people uh, living nowadays, stopped living. That's right. <clears throat> That's my story. A lot of people like that. I see. Keratin, too. No. No. Keratin was full blood. He won't have anything to do with them, though. No. Said his... I don't know. His family had something to do with some sort of... Uh, law enforcement, or police or cops or something, I don't remember. Wait, Keratin is full blood? Yeah. Was. Do you know what house he was from? What? Never mind. What house? What is Keratin's house last name? What do you mean? Oh. Was it Keratin Arabok? Or Keridan Urilo? Keridan have... Is that... Is that a, was that well, their full name? I don't name? know. I mean, I don't... I mean, he was trying not to be an Aaron Book. I see. Um, I don't know what those other words you're saying are, though. Okay. Do you know... It was worth it's a try. possibility that with how um, hierarchical elves are, that, um... Well... Would it be beyond the realm of possibility for the Iron Box to have just genocided the other families? I don't want to think about that right now. How long does commotions last? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> so oh. it's probably about up as soon as you want him to be up. Hey, you're all talking about genocide, and I'm getting a little skeeved out here. Can I have that back? Please, I mean, that's mine. The other way you know of calling. You know what? what I had to fucking do for that? Potion of How many back alley deals and favors <laughs> I had to do? Sorry. This is mine now. You, you get lost before we tell on you. Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> uh, 13. 13. Try to grab it from you. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll Heck no. a slide of hand check. Yeah. <laughs> Ten. Fifteen. They <laughs> snag it from you and they're going to try to run away. Are you trying to keep them from running away? Do you, I don't even know what I want to ask this guy. At this point, I just want to just booze. 
figured awesome I might want to enjoy it. But just... Are you, uh, yes or no? It'll, is this happening fast? Games, I don't know. No. Okay, no, so you let him go, it. grabs the thing, and <laughs> follows, falls, and then looks behind them and picks himself up and, <laughs> and starts to scamper down the tunnel more. It's okay, Talia, there will be more drinks. You know, without, yeah, yes, at the Iron Walk Estate. <laughs> You see, as uh, Tintin's finally caught up, as they're just kind of <laughs> scraping the interior of the walls. Of there, the tunnel. finally, I caught up to you. Can you please come back now? Yeah. Do you know the way back? Of course. I remember. That was Do you have any alcohol? Steel <laughs> trap. <laughs> yeah. Steel trap. <laughs> uh, not on me. Probably some sort of steel alloy. Maybe a question for later. Very well. Go ahead and roll another medicine check. We should get back to Osfer, since he is helping others right now, whereas you all seem to have gone off on your own volition. 20. Dirty 20. Yeah, well, Dirty 20. Yeah. Okay, roll one more for me. Go ahead, yeah. guys. I do wish we could learn uh, more, but... That one's else. even Why? better. Uh, Why did you 25. all run off? I was chasing him. Tilio saw something pretty glimmering around you know how like a coin will roll across Two passes. the ground. Very well. 13. It's more of a hoop. I believe you. God. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Uh, actually, I don't believe you, but it's okay. Um, That's suspicious. 10 plus your perception. Little sus. Little sus. Back so that is right. Yeah, you know, I hadn't seen a cat since I got yeah, here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go back to Osfer and just help him if he needs it. Up. Okay, so you guys. Very well. Begin to trounce your way back. Yes. Please be aware of this doorway. I got stuck here only a few moments ago. Shape. You say that as they go first, and then you get stuck again. Wait, how tall are you? <laughs> I am seven feet tall. Oh, okay. <sighs> also much wider than you. The shoulder, the plates, to <laughs> literally a, piece, a walking piece of artillery. I'm like a linebacker. I die <laughs> slightly just, just to be safe. Sure. Uh, you get stuck again, then <laughs> pull some right. of the stone clear as you push through. Uh, you come, Osfer, you have uh, great success with uh, patching everybody up. Great Nobody success. appears to succumb to their wounds. Still, a couple of people still remain unconscious, but uh, not bleeding out. Like, everybody's okay. You're able to patch people up. Um, passive perceptions among everybody else as they go through here. 15. 13. 11. Go, okay, you guys come through. <laughs> Uh, you notice Osfer kind of uh, wiping his hands on a rag yeah. to get rid of some of the blood as... Um, Civil War surgeon style. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, as someone else like just kind of puts their hand on your shoulder and nods at you uh, as like a, a, a thanks as they go to continue to tend to the, uh, the people that were wounded. Um, there are two or three individuals that are here of both the elderly and the younger generation that appear to be staring at you. Um, but as soon as you notice them, they like, and they, they look away. Except for one elderly individual who just kind of beats your gaze. Nothing special about the individual, just, you've caught a lot of attention by doing these uh, types of things for people. Uh, you notice Osfer cleaning his hands as you go back into the vaulted area of this uh, place. Um, so. There he is. <laughs> Walk over. <laughs> Very well. Have you attended to all those that needed assistance? Or do you need additional help? They probably need further medical attention, but no one's gonna die here. Those stalactites probably should be removed in the future. But uh, I don't know how often meteors fall out of the sky here. I mean, there is... A bigger problem. It is not a 0% probability, so I will report it back to General Greaves. That probably the... don't put spikes on the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we continue uh, with, with you're shopping? You're familiar with how long? It's the first this decade. Yeah. Mm. It's the first time in the last ten years. However, that is still a very frequent occurrence for some species. I figure. So, uh, with nothing else, why don't we go, um, 
there anything else you wanted to do before you went to try to check out the iron box? Right. What things did you want? The goal. <laughs> you yeah. do see quite a few of these oh, yeah. people uh, <laughs> do just start to just sally out. They sort of try to go back to their lives. Um, tragedy, unfortunately, for people nowadays is a common occurrence. So something as that may be perceived as uh, apocryphal to you is more of a Tuesday for them. So people start to go back to their lives. Uh, uh, there are a few people that uh, make some sort of makeshift gurneys and try to get the other people to some sort of triage tent or whatever the care that they may need as uh, it's becoming mostly empty down here as people are starting to leave and go back to what it is that they're going to do. Uh, granted, the m most of the people that were here were of the unfortunate with scattered of other people that just wanted to be able to get where they needed to go. Um, is the old so man still down here? Osfer, you're trying to melt down the gold still, right? Uh, he's on his way out. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this get this sorted and I start walking kind of towards the old man I mean I'm assuming okay. it's the uh, it's a little slower so he's just yeah out, just right? a one stairwell that kind of yeah. goes kind of like a case stairwell that beautiful kind of like national treasure style very well let us go to the smelter as well and then anything else that you would like perhaps something more to fit this era before I complete processing so that you go to do the Ehrenbach nation I just want kitchen. some real thread. Fresh thread. It's been so long. Very well. We'll see what real thread actually exists. You guys begin to also exit. You catch up to the old man if you'd like. Yeah. Um, I kind of... Uh, is it a human, halfling, tiefling? Human. Human, okay. I, I guess. It's like dark complexion, wrinkled face. I'm not going to roleplay that. Uh, um, with how hunched over he yeah. is, it's only slightly taller than you. Does this happen often? Mm. Mm. It's been quite a few seasons and cycles before it has last time, if I remember. Why? So kind of taking one step at a time up the stairwell. Thank you for helping, by the way. You are quite skilled in what you do, but there's something so familiar about what you wear, I just can't place it. No thanks needed. It was the right thing to do, and... <laughs> These robes come from the Wa'anate temple, although you might find that hard to believe. I wouldn't know what that was, but uh, I find <laughs> a little hard to believe that it's the right thing to do anymore. You must be old-fashioned. You could say that. I did say that. I don't understand. Well, that makes two of us. There's a lot of things around here I don't understand. Mm. Life is pain. It's our job to endure it, do our best, and if we can, Make our neighbor a little bit less. Pelted by meteors, I guess, should be the new phrase. But when it comes down to it, your own hide will sell at market better than someone else's. So, thank you again. I don't know what temple you said you were from, but uh, if it's the same as some of the old stories tell, I'd be careful. Some might view you wearing that as a, well, a bit of an affront to a people that 
All of us owe a lot to him. I understand. Thank you for your wisdom. Oh, well, that's the first time someone's thanked me for anything other than my smell. Well, I'll take it. Been around for too long anyway. Would you help me up this last step? It's a little steep. Sure. Just kind of hold my arm out for the thing. The whole bouncing thing. All right. A little shorter than I... It don't matter. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't have much, but uh, if you need a place to... Well, if you need anything, that's not... Well, if you need anything... I mean, that's not... Where was I? I forgot what I was saying. I believe you were thanking me and offering a safe haven in this strange oh, city. right. I live over, over yonder. If you uh, need to hide from another meteor, welcome to hide under what I got. I'll take you up on that. Sure. Yeah. I'll probably forget too, so um I don't know. Mm, I don't know what I'd to give you to help remind me either, so good luck, I guess. Well, you could give me your name. Oh. Uh Tuvin. Tuvin. Oscar. Well, at least they they call me old smelly Tuvin, but I mean I showered today, so I don't understand. Well, showered. I mean, what? I mean, take a dip in some of the old, not great. It doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you. My name's Tubin. You're what? Osford Goodmeadow. Glad to have met you. All the good fellow. You got it. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, is, is your house, you said, over there? Because you oh, point it's, out? Oh, yeah, it's about that way. I walk until I see it, usually. I make these little, these little la good luck lanyards out of the people's hair, loved ones that they lost, and it keeps me going. Okay. Well, I'll let you be about your day. Okay. You want a lanyard? You lost anybody? You got some of their hair? Um, I don't have any of their hair. Oh, pity. Toenails? No. Oh, okay. Well, if you find some, let me know. I'm Tubin. Bye. Okay. I would like to walk away. You guys are all now above. Yeah. I'd like to run up <laughs> to uh, Osper. Just kind of like put Osper my hand on your smelly old man. <laughs> yeah, put my hand on your shoulder. Like, yeah, write that down. Write that down. <laughs> jot that down. Everything is possible. Who makes Through old smelly tube and jot that down. Who is your uh, mementos out of hair? Who is that old decrepit disgust? <laughs> that He's man there. you were talking to. He was down there helping me tend to the wounded. Oh. T U B I N. Like down the river. We, uh. Like he, I don't know if stared is the right way of describing it, but I noticed an inordinate amount of attention coming my way. So I figured I'd ask what's going on, and it seems that since all the other monks are dead, it's probably not the best for me to be walking around in these robes. Folks might think it's. Uh, I mean, if they even believe our stories, I think it may be disrespectful, and I can understand that. He also offered us his place if we need to lay low or just spend the night, I'm assuming. Um, oh. Speaking Would of you... laying low. Yes? So we found a half-elf. Mm -hmm. 
Turns out that half elves aren't. Um, turns out that half elves aren't exactly as welcome as we had expected, nor necessarily our elves, and our fears for the iron box were somewhat valid. Accurate. Maybe best if we don't draw a ton of attention to ourselves before we decide to make a play. Given this information, would you like to go find some additional wardrobe? Yes. Very well. We yes. will add it to the smelter and the list of let's very... Go, let's go get the wardrobe um, first. Can we add in that, like, health potions and is there a wizard about I could say hi to? <laughs> we can certainly try to find some sort of healing capabilities. I am uncertain of how many mages are still around. What pity. Uh, you guys can easily head over to of the more like apocalyptic market or bazaar area. It is deep within more of the type of redeemer areas around here as that's where most of the business is done. People go and find scraps and resources and they come back and they trade for what it is that they need, what they want and just try to survive. Whether it's a, uh, a charge of some sort of magitech uh, uh, or oil to keep uh, from the chappedness of being up here in the uh, uh, high atmosphere from cracking your skin and causing you to bleed from the dryness. So uh, you can easily head sorry. over in that. Go ahead. Oh, Osfer, I might have something you can use for the time being. Rummage through my bag, pull out a, one of my skirts. It's, I'm tall, mm -hmm. so, like, a skirt for me is like... A poncho. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Until we find something else. Would you like to borrow this? What are the long skirts, not the short skirts? <laughs> I, Could still be short I appreciate skirt. the gesture. I, I think that might end up drawing a little bit more attention. Oh. Okay. I might have one a little less flashy. It's just a halfling wearing a skirt. No, it's no. Well, on you, it. holds it up. Basically, it is like neck height. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think we're directly on our way to go find clothes. To you know, you if the iron box also have wine, so like maybe later we try this idea again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you also have to realize that everybody finds things as they can, so you wouldn't stick out that much but a little bit more than normal. Right. Mm. I tried. <laughs> I'd probably but prefer to find clothes, too. I haven't worn anything besides rags in a while. Let's find some new outfits, then. <laughs> let's go shopping! It's accessory. Right? <laughs> yes, let's. Oh, my goodness, oh. shoes. Oh, my God. Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, Tintin. Oh, shoes. Yes. Fine. You receive an incoming message. Okay. Platform tinted abulation. Do you have anything to report? We've received information that you are in charge of a recent intake. Do I recognize this voice? <clears throat> uh, this is a sending that's coming to you from. Uh, it sounds like a not. Uh, as far as you recognizing the voice, it. You don't recognize this voice personally, but it sounds like uh, one of the people that's in charge of the bureaucracy, probably an elf, in charge of some of the bureaucracy to deal with uh, some of this. Could be an elf, could be anyone else. Okay. Depending on who's on the other line, you don't know. All right. Uh, that's just in charge of keeping the bureaucracy, of making sure all this stuff is recorded. Meaning that, you know, information has disseminated that you are doing something and mm -hmm. somebody requires that you respond. Affirmative. There are several, several individuals who are now working their way towards the nation. However, they require additional assistance with acquiring garments, etc., fitting of their status. We'll be there soon. You receive another message. 
Platform Tintin Abulation. Confirm you have intake of Ehrenbach Nation bound immigrants. Please state number, code, and description, please. Confirmation of at least one. Four total in party. That may be requiring armistice. Amnesty. Platform Tintin Abulation, please stay at your current location. We'll be heading a Harrier to your location as soon as possible. Uh, uh, unfortunately, current location has been damaged in the recent meteor impact. We'll return to the Ehrenbach Nation as soon as possible. Um, do we hear this? They have to say it out loud. Yeah. So, like so we're you hear the, the responses, but not the, the incoming. Yeah. Um, are you uh, attempting to keep the channel open for more responses or no? I mean, I'm assuming that it's... It's up to you. You have that part if you want to shut it off or not. I'll shut it off. You shut it off. You hear like platform tip tip as yeah. you tip, shut off the thing. Do me a favor, roll a deception check for that. Right away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oops. Did they just say they're? Uh, you can do it at advantage because you are a machine. Eighteen. Eighteen. Holy shit! You just hear platform tip tip as it shuts off. I turn to you all. You do not have much time. I have delayed as much as possible, but they are coming for you. And we must get you to the Ehrenbach Nation. A uh, Harrier, uh, you know that a Harrier is a type of uh, sorority um, that is decked in um, war-appropriate regalia and armor uh, that is meant to go and collect or people that they deem like it is the higher tier of law enforcement that they bring to things like when they knew, okay, that's enough. Um, yeah. so we like need to like the that's, U.S. Marshal coming out. To yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, sending in the uh, the the military instead of the local police. Um, so or the National Guard. Um, so do yes, uh, you do know because it has been programmed into your uh, way because uh, into your mind because General Greaves is a intelligent individual and also likes to subvert types of things. Yep. <laughs> uh, you do have a list of protocol to deal with. Uh, the uh, it's called subterfuge protocol, and it has to do with getting uh, not being caught by the cops. Yep. Uh, and it pretty much <laughs> I love this. It's and all it's all for the greater. You good. have a list of things, three basic things. Uh, don't be any place that has open air. So it could be in a place that has some sort of cover roof or anything, because they always look from the sky. Uh, if you can get underground, get underground, but. Don't be in any place that has a crowded amount of people for too long because people like to report other people for for uh, bounties very, very quickly, and people will do anything when they're starving like this. Uh, three, worst-case scenario, there is the underground. There is a community that the Redeemers, not officially, uh, but unofficially have created as kind of like a black market underground uh, to stay away from this thing. Uh, but limited information on this is limited on purpose due to the, for the purpose of uh, plausible deniabilities. Should you ever get captured or disassembled, you have no information on them. You just have say, worst case scenario, go deep. Yeah. I described to, to you all those, those items. <clears throat> what would you like to do? We can certainly stay here, and I know that your intentions are to eventually go to the Ehrenbach Nation. However, I want to give you the opportunity. You also the have choice. a countdown clock that appears on your HUD of 90 seconds before someone could possibly get to your location. You have very little okay. time. Okay, so the, the shops that you want to take us to, are they below ground? Uh... 
not, the ones that you were talking before, not necessarily, but quite a few of them are covered by canvas and other types of tapestries and everything. It's a bazaar. Uh, think of like, you know, kind of more of a, okay. um, yeah, okay. like so a the, desert bazaar. There's just a covered. lot of stuff. There are some that are covered, but they're not underground. It depends on the type of secrecy in which you wish to Smoking down coins is going to take a while. Do we want to hide from them, or do we want to go in guns blazing? And not necessarily guns blazing. They are powerful. I would remind you. What's a gun? <laughs> yeah, we probably don't. Have you want seen to my cannon? Fight. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to delay, I guess, as long as possible to get what we want done, and then go on our own terms. Um, you two, I think so too. We don't have None? much time. We should get going. Oh, I can make this easy. Very so well. here's the deal. Um, Going above ground in the bazaar will be faster to get through it is what you need to get done, and it will be sure to be there. Right. There may be a higher chance for you to get caught, but it's still you're still within the masses and in covered areas most of the time. Going underground might be more difficult, but when it would take more time, and you're not sure that you'd be able to get to where it is you need to go because these people are secret for a reason. Go ahead. I can just make you invisible. You can cut out all of this bullshit. Wait. Do you want that? Oh, right. Yes, I am a mage. Right, yes. we have magic. <laughs> Come on. Well, I've only seen I've only seen him do that once, and it was a lot has happened in the past like five That's hours or great, however long. That's a great. Yes. Do you want it or not? Um. You're saying this out loud. Yes. Tintin, you're very well aware that these Harriers are equipped with equipment that are be able to detect and deprive the world of this this I'm, beautiful visage. They will not be deprived of your visage because of the capabilities that they have in order to see through any sort of magical means. Let's stay they, I'm sorry, they don't have the ability to see, they have the ability to detect whether magic is in action within a certain radius of themselves. Mm. Uh, okay. I see we keep low, we keep, well, my instinct for at least is to keep out of sight. I'd say we'd stay ab below ground so we're not seen. Okay and try to make our way to the... Um, so what are you box. guys doing? Because it, you have 30 seconds okay. before the possibility Avengers, of something is arriving. Right. It's like someone right. just called 911 on you. You have very fury, fury, <laughs> Let us. We let's... don't have to smelt the coins, but... I'm sorry, Oscar. We'll get to it eventually. You probably do need some sort of disguise, <laughs> yeah, though. it's going to take a long time. Okay. There's Here, yeah, let's toss, go. toss, I mean, some, could, toss could... some coins over there and grab that piece of cloth from that table. Wonderful. Now you have a new yeah. vestige. Cool. Wonderful. Let's go. Let's get going. Take hey, that was my tablecloth. <laughs> oh, thank you for the coins. Never mind then. <laughs> okay, yeah, following. I don't know how I'm going. I mean, do we need, like, the whole point was that we were. You guys have to act now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying this as we're walking. Underground. Uh, the whole point was to, like, we, we don't have to evade the air box forever. I thought we were. That's where we were going. We, we just wanted to go here time. first. Yeah. When he said, That's up to you. Do you want to go on your terms, or do you want to be escorted there by force? I would rather go on our terms, because I'm afraid to separate May from us. I don't do anything sure. by anyone else's terms. Let's just go. Ourselves. Underground? Running. <laughs> Okay. If we, if we do Here's get cobbled, play dumb, we we're just on our way. Go Here's the somewhere. deal, Tintin. They are able to track your location, as is required by Ehrenbach law, for automatons within the city limits. Um, yeah. So for you to be at the same where they are be becomes problematic. Let me guide you to at least some safe havens and at least one smelter, should you find that you need that type of assistance. I give you the information. It is, there is an entrance to the underground uh, that is near something that, you don't have a whole lot of information on it on purpose, but there is an entrance that is one of the locations that you should go underground that is near one of the wells that comes up from where the water originates to create the rivers that come out of the city and then that fall off the edges of the city. Uh, a bunch of the ways of which the water falls off now only kind of go one way because it's tilted a little bit. So there's a bunch of dry rivers and then there's a bunch of overflowed rivers on the two sides. Uh, so there is one that's closer to there. You have to book it to get there if you're gonna get there now. Um, as uh, you're gonna have to run now. Uh, 
Oh, you, everyone, everyone, everyone okay. I must part ways with you now, though, because they know where I am. So, please do remember that you are on the time clock, and just the clock in general, and know that General Greaves can only do so much in delaying your processing, as well as your friend. You, your holographic map of the city is detachable from you, if you would like. Uh, if that's something you want to mark on them and give it. To yeah, them. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you guys because I know that Greaves can make another one for me. Yeah, easily. Uh, you just, you, oh no, it got damaged in a meteor attack. Uh, as they exactly. hand you something, and I, I couldn't run find. The opposite direction. I couldn't find you all. Wink. <laughs> I believe this is for you. Uh, you guys have to. I'll run. just. Smile and nod at uh, ten. I, I don't have time to give her proper thanks. And you know, we'll just run. You guys run. You just do that thing like that. The nod that means a the lot. Nod. Where of like you saved our lives. We appreciate it. I don't know when we're gonna see you next, but thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, as you guys start booking, bum, -da -da -da, as you start running, the more inf the more distance you get between this individual and the other, the better. Uh, you eventually do get to where it is that you're going. I need everybody to, are you trying to be stealthy with this? No, we're just booking it. Uh, I'm booking it. Correct, but I mean by, <laughs> what I mean by that, yes, you are booking, booking yes. it, but are you trying to go a route that has types of awnings or canvas over, or are you trying to go the way the crow flies? I would, I would probably be stealthy about it. Yeah. Okay, that's, so that'd be go ahead and roll stealth well. checks for me, everybody. Sorry, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. It's just, it just depends on, uh, you know, 19. If you beat the clock or not. What's up? 19? 19. Okay. 10. 10. 8. 8. 13. 13. Okay. Um, yikes. Uh, Len, you notice as you look up, there's this kind of like sound as this extremely large wingspan, we're talking about probably a 15 foot wingspan of a large armored, almost an entire with gold and alloy, um, a spiked pauldron starts to careen no more than a hundred feet off the ground uh, across in Tin Tin Abulation's direction where they were heading and and running. Uh, there's a, a moment where they're moving, moving farther and farther away as they pass over you before you see a hard bank and them starting to turn. Um, what are you guys doing? What's up? I'm going in the opposite direction and I would like to wipe my memory up until the point where I was stuck in the tunnels. So I lost lost them. You're going to purge your memory banks up of, until that point. Up until that point. So that they got lost in the tunnels. Yeah, you can do that. Um, here's what I'll say. I need you to roll an intelligence saving throw to see if you can do this with that much accuracy uh, lest you delete things that you don't want to delete. 22. 22. You find that point and you begin to delete the information. Response, my yeah. Um... Like, nope, well nope, fucking nope. done. Nice <laughs> fucking move. Um, um, what are you guys doing? Uh, you're staying stealthy? Um, or are you booking? Mm. It's up to you. I think, I mean, I'd try to stay stealthy. I'm okay. kind of small. Stealthy. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm ready to book it, but I see others trying to be stealthy, so I'll try to stay stealthy. Okay, okay, go very, ahead. Like, I, think, I think running will create much more of like a... Disturbance. Yeah. Yeah, like, you're probably right. They, they may spot us in the crowd, but they will definitely see us if we run. Yeah, if you're sprinting, you kind of stick out. Fuck. Usually, oh, if you it. run like you stole it. That was a 19, and then it rolled over to a 3. Oh, Ooh. man. 9. 9. 10. 15. 15. 22. 22. Oh. Uh, Talio runs by you, Osfer, and just picks you up because you're just bumping into things, and you like you stop to be like, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and Talio just picks you up because you're too kind for your own good. And... Uh, Len is you just like come on come on come on come on you're like trying to get everybody else and you won't go first because you're trying to make sure everybody else is safe before you do it which is causing you to stick out just a little bit uh but with Talio and the, you seem to be 
What you're able to notice because you stay behind is that as this Harrier has turned around, they're still like scanning the area. They're still like looking back and forth. They're still searching. They don't know your exact location. With those rolls, you get to where you seem to see, uh, which is, appears to be uh, near one of the, the riverbanks of these like worked stone uh, uh, tributaries and uh, reservoirs and like aquifer areas. Uh, you appear to be there. All of you appear to be there. You don't see anything. Um, what do you guys do? Don't see anything. Um, do, do you see anything? Um, no, I said, I, I was repeating. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Let's see. Where the water comes up, do we just go in? Investigation. I want to look for any kind of... You stay yeah. under the tent. Uh, you can if you like. Do you guys want to just start scrambling to see what you can find? Yeah. Uh, well, sure, investigation yeah. with everybody. That's fine. Not bad, yeah. Just searching with your bare hands and eyes. Uh, on the, I want to look in the. You said two. Uh, it's, it's like going one. four directions. Um, from where you are right now, you're not quite at an area where these. Uh, okay. There is, there are like aquifers slash rivers of of worked stone, like kind of like Amsterdam style, um, that do come from the center uh, uh, Netza of of the town that go off in all four cardinal directions. Only two of them now flow where the other ones are dry because of the tilt of the city. Uh, where you are near where the quadrant uh, or like the crossroads of where these might meet, but not that near. You're like uh, closer uh, to where maybe the south one would be going, uh, but you are on the banks of said river slash tributary. Okay. Um, I just want to look for any kind of Hole in the ground. Okay. You? I rolled an eight, and I'm looking for anywhere that the water was flowing. For a... it, it is Here it's uh, close to overflowing because all the water from the other one has been down. It would be super overflowing if the thing that created the water was working at 100% efficiency, but it's not. Uh, I rolled a 14. 14, okay. I rolled a 17. 17. 14... Um, you see some alabaster stones that are missing. All this stuff is pockmarked from previous iterations of things falling from the sky. You said 17? What are you looking for? More so same as Maeve. Like, maybe somewhere something to, like, hide. Like... Okay. All I see is uh, there's some 15. Stones. And I'm looking for, yeah, any sort of entrance on the ground. Entrance on the ground? Like, uh, manhole cover something like that okay um Oscar you start like looking for like seams anything like hidden stones out of mm-hmm. place those types of things you kind of give up on this area as do you as you're just like as you because Maeve's kind of got it covered in the basic area of these like kind of alabaster cobblestones and you are like like okay well it's not here I'm going to start looking over the side and you start looking at like where the barrier between the river it is. You start looking at the interior, like the part of the pool that kind of curves up. Uh, you see Osford do that and you're like, fuck it. And you dive into the water uh, and you're, uh, you, while you're in there, cause th- you're used to this type of thing. You're nature, easy swimming against the current. I'm no grody. problem. <laughs> you're also green. <laughs> ah, water, fresh water. It does. This water also seems remarkable remarkably fresh. Uh, oh, okay. Like, it's ridiculous how pure this water is. Um, you go down there, uh, you do notice what looks like a, like, not I want to say a sewer drain, but those barred parts of the areas that do put from sewer drains that go out into a water part that is within, uh, uh, as you dive under the water of this, it's on like the side of the riverbank still underwater. There's, there's some sort of other pipe or uh, underwater tunnel or something that, that does have bars on it. Okay. Uh, like blocking it off the bars? Uh, yeah, like just vertical, like four vertical bars blocking about a five foot diameter uh, hole that goes perpendicular to where the river is under the water of the river. Do these bars look like weak enough for me to break? Uh, roll a investigation, another investigation check, or, or nature. I'll give you either one because it is a natural mineral that gets degraded over time. Do investigation. Damn. 
12. That's one way to find out. I'll try to break it. You try to break it? Go ahead and roll an athletics check. Or strength. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's athletics. Ooh. 19. <laughs> 19. Uh, you go in, and you start to grab and pull. It's, it's not budging. And then you're like... And you just call upon the roots uh, that now are on your body as they kind of like start to grow into the metal roots that pull apart asphalt and stone that through the uh, unenduring march of time split steel and stone and it grows into the pores of the iron and you hear the underground uh, or underwater echoing of metal that's as they snap free and it's open. I'll poke my head back up and be like, I just ripped these fucking bars off this <laughs> <laughs> we could try to hide it. You're like treading way. water in the other direction. Like, I'll rip these fucking bars off. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe there'll be something there if we swim that way and hide. What do you guys do? So, yep. I do that. Oscar dives in without hesitation. I push Maven. <laughs> ah! Oh, <okay>. Perfect. <laughs> Talio just like ah! shoulder checks Maven as she falls in, and Talio dives in. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> They're going to hear that. As sploosh, 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 sploosh. Uh, all of you are able to, uh, Len, you grab Maeve's ankle and pull uh, <laughs> the flailing up top uh, and go under here. Eventually, as you're going through this, um, about after like 30 feet, you come to a bit of an air pocket or a place where you can go up and you are able to catch your breath <laughs> and, and <laughs> be under this kind of like rat ways, like Riften uh, uh -huh. of uh, stone and metal that kind of like plop on to this area. And there is, appears to be a torch that is lit mm -hmm. here. There's a tunnel that goes farther in, but right now this is where you are. The smell is not great. But for the moment you are underground at the location you want it to be. And there, you don't see a Harrier and you're out of the Harrier's sight. And that's where we're going to end our session today, guys. Uh, thank you guys for staying with us. Tune in next time. And as always, stay safe, stay, stay safe out there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>